How you doing, y'all? Welcome to Nappy and Jay. On today's podcast, we're going to talk. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> bro, bro, you know that COVID shit, bro? That shit ain't no joke. What For, do you mean? Yo, anybody who ever fucking mocked COVID, anybody who Did talked we? shit on COVID. Did we talk shit about COVID? I, uh, I, saw, I said it was a good thing. Play the read receipts, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well... Turns out me and Jay both tested tested positive. Bro, that shit killed me for two weeks. Yeah, Jay was actually like, I don't know. You should have been hospitalized. Uh, <laughs> dude, well, I mean, it's useless to get hospitalized for it. So That's I was true. like, fuck it. I'll just die in my room. You know what alone. was really strange to me? Okay, so I went to go get my test at Urgent Care. And I, and I pull up in there. And I'm just like, all right, like, you know, first off, I'm a little confused because when I show up, like it was just chill. Like it was a really <laughs> chill environment. I was expecting like everybody to be like all like, you know, hazmat suit. Everybody's just like freaking out. Like no, wasn't like that. Walked up to the front desk. That girl's chilling. There's not even like a plastic covering in front of her face. She just Wait, literally what? has her mask on. Yeah, like it was like everybody was just chilling in there. I'm just like, yo, anybody could just walk in here with COVID. Like, does no one give a shit? And like, did people sit down and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Everybody was just chilling. You know what I mean? Regular shit. So like, what I what kind like, of testing me. center are you going? To? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a regular urgent care. So I go up in there. So everybody's got their mask on. I'm like, all right, whatever. You know. So I guess they're doing weird shit. They have like this little pen bin where you put your pens after you use it. So I was like, all right, maybe they're doing something. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I go in. So I get about to get tested. It was like actually like got in there like ten minutes. I walk in there. I start talking to the lady. Like I'm like, yo. Like, it's kind of sus. Like, no one really <laughs> gives a shit about this out there. Like, what's going on? And she was just like, well, to be honest, she was just like, as long as you really have your mask on and you're constantly washing your hands, she's like, you really won't have a problem. She's like, I've been talking to COVID patients for more than eight months. And she's like, I have never tested positive once. And I have worked with them every single day. So I was you like, gotta that's be just clean. nuts. You yeah. just gotta watch your hands. No, exactly. I was tripping. I was like, yo, this shit is crazy. The and like, they're in there just like, nah, like, this is just every day at work. The problem is, I touched my um, face a lot, I guess. Like, it, yeah. was, it was noticed on the live. People say I touched my hair the whole time. <laughs> they were shitting on yeah, me. Yeah, you just know? like, you really, like, you could hang out with somebody with COVID. You really just shouldn't make out with them. Wear yeah. your mask, I guess. And, and just yeah. don't, like, touch your mouth. But you can have sex, apparently. Yeah. So that's what's, what's weird, even, <laughs> is that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess we could maybe should we talk about the meat? Or yeah. should, let's just do it now. Okay, it. so I had let's just reverse it. Let's, yeah. let's do the meat now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking intro. Fucking intro. We're the intro is going to be in the middle of the podcast. Right. If you wanted the intro, skip, skip ahead. Skip to thirty minutes. <laughs> but so okay, so we have a a super spreader birthday party. I didn't advertise it as that. But it turns out that's what it was. Yeah. There was was there a Facebook group made? Is, no. Is that what it's called? That's what I called it in my in super my heart. spreader. My super spreader Dude, birthday when party. You, when it's you like say a super six. spreader, I think like <laughs> super spreader asshole. Wait, what? My, for some reason, I think it's like some like invention that can spread Wait. your asshole. <laughs> it's like the super spreader. It's just like whoa. It's like it's for people who like to do anal. It's like an anti clamp. I don't even know what those are called. Anti clamp. <laughs> oh, dude, anti clamp like is an a, clamp. Of a clamp. But dude, a clamp could be an anti clamp too. <laughs> Honestly, it can because what if you that? open it's it up, a, it's called a jack. A jack? Right? Doesn't no, they, you jack something up, dude. I like feel like extent? doctors do use some like anti clamp sometimes. Like they, they have super spreader mechanisms. Yeah, some to, to spread spread things. I like think it's assholes. more clits than assholes. Oh no, no, dude. That's what a girl told. Not clits, but like the vagina. Right. Well, the, the <laughs> vagina is a clit, I guess. Everything no, well, is a clit. Well, it's in there. It's yeah. in there. It's part of it. <laughs> it's one of the things. <laughs> but, dude, no. This girl told me that when she goes to get her, like, vagina checked out, they have to, like, use this thing to spread open her vagina. And she's like, that shit fucking is Wait, painful. So, like, is it, like, a thing that they're, like, sitting on that spreads out their legs? I don't know, Or is bro. it, like, an actual tool that, the, like, the, the doctor uses when he, like, I think it's there. a tool. He I, probably does have something to, like, open it up. Dude, this other girl I was talking to about it, she said, she said that her, like, vagina opened and easily or the doctor Wait, made a what? comment the doctor made a comment about it he's like, like whoa well it's because she said that the guy that she's been with had a big dick right so she he's like oh classic that, he's like that one didn't easy i was like <laughs> what type of doctor says some shit like that doctor that's on point he's like bro <laughs> it's pretty big <laughs> You're having a lot of sex, she, huh? He, no, I think the words he uses, he's like, uh, it, your your vagina took well to our device or something. Oh, that's very, that's a nice way of that's, saying yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say the next time I have sex, oh, your, your vagina worked well for my device. <laughs> <laughs> Did pretty solid.
solid. I enjoyed it. <laughs> but, but anyways, wait, what were you? Oh, okay, about? okay. So we had the super spreader birthday party. It wasn't advertised as that. It just happened to be that. Yeah. So all of our friends come. We we have a little barbecue at my place. It was outside. It though. was outside. Right. We did. We took the right precautions. The only bad thing is, is that our friends took it upon themselves to invite their friends. Oh yes. Which was yes. the problem. Yes. If it was yes. just. Uh, the homies. Yeah. Then this we wouldn't have happened. Yes. Yeah. As but, far as we know. But because okay, because I guess there was an awkward situation where Isaiah oh, like shit. canceled on this girl four <laughs> different times. She had to come to the birthday party because he canceled on her too many times before this. Oh, okay. You and so I mean? so so she came. So she came. The, our our friend came with all of his roommates. And then I ended up like the next day getting sick yeah like hella sick jay like it was like yo i'm fucking hung over i'm like bro you had like a little thing at maker's mark yeah <laughs> well anyways i was i was getting chills that next day and then sunday i was dead and yeah. that's when i felt some weird shit was going yeah. on because i've never been hung over for two days <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you were that hung over i was like i thought you were just bullshitting me anyways no, right? no, no. i was like all right this kid's just tired doesn't want to hang out no no he's just saying he's hung over i wasn't like, feeling good i didn't realize right you were <laughs> sick as shit yeah yeah, like, yeah 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 you were actually sick but anyways um Fast forward a week. And everybody from blames it on me. I know, that, like, as if you brought it. I'm the it's one like who you brought it. You got it. I'm the one who's sick. Everybody <laughs> else is fine out here. Everybody I'm, was asymptomatic besides Jay. And I'm just dead in my bed. <laughs> and we're like, Jay, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck Rob, Sierra, bro. Yeah. Sierra be calling me out too much, bro. I, you know what was funny, too, though, is like how hostile our group chat got for a half a second. <laughs> I was like, yo, when this shit happens, like, people start, like, calling out dude, people like dude, 100 percent. like this girl that i was talking to like she hung out with me on saturday she tested yeah. negative but all of her friends freaked out on her that's what i'm saying they, they were like i can't believe they you hung out with him when he was sick i was like I, dude i thought i was people hung go over, hard bro. i didn't realize we were like yeah fuck that jackie girl bro <laughs> <laughs> we're like yo why'd you fucking invite her <laughs> everybody's just like pissed at each other like bro you fucking brought them and dude and then well then she got she after i got tested positive apparently she got tested positive yeah yeah which is horse shit this girl's out every fucking day. And so she, we should have known. So you think she's the one who brought it? I really, truly, I don't want to go on the podcast and blame this girl, but she brought the fucking COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't it, me, it bro. Is what it, no, because you got it. That's why I'm I, never going to blame the person that, that gets it. I mean, usually that's who people blame. That's stupid. Okay, so don't blame the person who no, has it. Blame no. the people who don't. Well, okay, the only... I understand why people would get mad at somebody if they went and hung out with somebody knowing they were Yeah, sick. there's no way I knew I had it at the time. Fast forward to... To our situation where you just made the comment three minutes ago oh, yes. of we had sex with somebody and you had sex it. with somebody. I said we because I didn't want to <laughs> give it away. <laughs> but so, OK, so, yeah, like a week goes by and I get tested on the Friday, like after <laughs> after my birthday. This girl wants to hang out. It's the first time we're ever supposed to see each other. I think they talked about this a little bit on yeah. the Instagram live. But um, I was like, listen, to be honest, I was just at a birthday party. It was my birthday party and someone there tested positive for COVID. Just want to let you know. I, I'm feeling like I have no symptoms, but if you still want to hang out tomorrow, you can. It's The risk is in your hands. Right. It's not on you at that no, point. Not, not at all. I put the ball in her court it's and like I said, saying you have how like, horny are you? Exactly. That's pretty much what I exactly. said. How like, are you willing to get COVID for sex? It's like saying like <laughs> something about AIDS. Like, yo, I have AIDS. If you want to have wild. sex with me. <laughs> That's way different. <laughs> AIDS is for life. <laughs> but some people might take the risk. Yeah, I guess you're right. Or herpes, I feel like, is a uh, little less. I guess, but isn't herpes also permanent? It is. You keep picking permanent things. <laughs> Can we pick, like, gonorrhea? Okay, gonorrhea. <laughs> if I said, okay, well, even then, if I had something like that, I would say no. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's up to her. It is, right. The risk is up to her, bro. So we found out she was horny. Yeah. That's pretty much what we found out. Yes. But anyways, I had sex with her. And, you know, it's really weird. I literally got tested the day before, Friday. I didn't yeah. get my results until the following week. Um, and I tested positive, by the yeah, way. Yeah, so, which yeah. was, like, super sus. But anyways, <laughs> so she was there literally the next day after I tested positive. We didn't know that. Yeah. At the time, I just told her I took a test just to, you know, for caution. Yeah. But literally, we hung out, banged, did the whole thing, and nothing. Negative. She's negative. I was like, yo... That's fucking insane. Dude, that's the weird things that are happening. Because the girl I hung out with the day after the party, yeah. negative, bro. Negative. It I, doesn't make it sense. It doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. It's so it's so hodgepodge. It's so wish-wash. It's bullshit. I don't really know what is, how it even works. But it's real. <laughs> All we know is it's real. 
Should we give him an intro? Fuck yes. it at this point. <laughs> yes, intro. All right, listen. Up. All right. Uh, intro. I got a couple tweets. Jay does his part. <laughs> we do the meet. <laughs> we got some fun, weird shit. And honestly, we'll, we'll tell him the lightning okay, round question. Okay, okay, okay. I actually, there's two. There's two for me. <laughs> oh, <shit>. You're going <laughs> to give two of the lightning round. Yes. What's the weirdest thing you told a girl on a date and realized that it was weird after? And that was from Brandon. But yes. We'll get into that. And then also, what makes a woman a freak? I just oh, liked yes. both questions. Yes. I just wanted to just throw Wait, it Wait, aren't you going to say the one that we're not going to talk about, but somebody asked? What do you mean? Oh, well, that's, ever... that's in the meat, right? Uh, no, no, no. Have we oh. ever... Yes. Wait, what was the question? The question is, have we ever kissed? Maddie. <laughs> I think that's a bullshit ass question. <laughs> I mean, I actually understand it. I understand what it. It of, is what it is. What kind of question does she think? I've only okay. Me and Jay have not. I have have not. I kissed other guys? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like okay. The there's, there's there's been like there's probably been three. Oh, okay. So there's been the, three. So you were just experimenting? And no, it, three <laughs> different times. No. The, I maybe I think I told the story in the past. The first time I think I was in fifth or sixth grade. It was to see girls. It was to see some girls' titties. Yes, that it, was in like the fifth American grade. Pie. Okay, we didn't know what was happening. Yes, yes, right? yes. whatever. Kissed my boy. We saw. Some, we did. We did see yes. the titties. I think a fair transaction. Fair. In fast forward to like when I'm 25, would I do that? No. no. But but, but, but back grade? then I was like, whoa, titties are great. Yes. Um. But the only other two people I could think of. Is my friend Mike, which and my, and Vince, yes, and both of them, I we did it on accident, and we both had this moment what after. Mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, Vince was like, "Yo, bro, I love you," and I went to kiss him on the cheek, and he turned his face. Oh, <laughs> so you tried to do some friend shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we, I, I mean, I was doing friendly gay shit. Yes, like yes. we, I was gonna kiss him on the cheek because like we're just like friendly. Yes, you know, just, whatever. Yes, just being stupid. You, you want to be European a little bit, right? Yes, yes exactly. Yes, yes, and yes. so I, so I went up to him. I went to kiss him on the cheek, and he moved his face, and then we both looked at each other like. What? <laughs> I looked at it. I was like, ah, like, what are we gonna do about this? <laughs> and, then, and then, and then, what? What is it? And the other one, same thing, same kind of situation. Oh, I do a lot of um, cheek kissing. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I see. Here's the thing: when when you're really boys with someone, you you, you can cheek the, kiss. The cheek kiss. I, you mean, know what I mean, in it's Europe, you have weird. to. It, it would right. be disrespectful. Right. So nothing on purpose, all accidental. Yes. But me and Jay have never had that situation. No. Personally. Um, but anyways, where were we? Are we going to my We're going part? to your part, yes. Thank you for pointing the laptop to me. Welcome to Nappy's Internet Moments. Oh, I forgot the Internet Moments. It's on the Internet, and it's my moment. It's Wait, my what do you think it was? Let me shine. You know what I realized? This, pop, <laughs> this podcast is all discombobulated because we haven't done it in a week. Yeah. Whenever we take a week off, we come back and we're stupid. We just went <laughs> we 13 sucked. minutes for an intro. We, we fucked up completely. <laughs> like, we just we went into some... I don't even know. Anyways, all right. Let's get into the Internet Moments. I've only got one tweet. I had I had two other tweets, but you know what? I was like, this isn't interesting. I'm just gonna do tweets and then Nappy's thoughts. Okay. Because okay. you know we get Jay's peculiar yes. mind. But yes. anyways, all right. So first tweet and only tweet. Deleting your savage paragraph to text back okay is a different kind of self-control. Dude, I've done that shit before. When you when, after you, but sometimes you need to type that shit out to realize, okay, I shouldn't even care, bro. That's what it is. You That's type it, it out and you be like, nah, she doesn't deserve this. No, right? That's, I think I do it some more like on tweets. I do it on text messages too, but like there's a lot of shit that I'm already really like, just like fire off. Like you're just emotional. On Twitter? Yeah, I'm like, fuck. Dude, you know, I feel bees. like, dude, when I was, when back in the day when I had a Twitter, I feel like I really did do that. Like a lot. There, was, there, there was times where like I would type something out and be like, ah, fuck it. The drafts are heavy. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Cause, yeah. But honestly, the texting back to girls is a real thing too. Because I, I, here's the thing though. A lot of people like in the tweet that said, say okay. Like, bro, if I type some shit out and I delete it, you're not I'm, saying I'm shit. I'm not saying shit. I'm leaving it. Because I've done it a lot. There's yes. been people that have like responded back to me. Um, oh, for instance, like I had this like little political story the other oh. day. What was it? Like two weeks ago. Oh, and, like, you just yeah. have like people like, I don't understand. I'm like, I don't even want to have a fucking conversation <laughs> with you. You know what I mean? Like I started typing some shit out. I'm like, this is a complete waste of my fucking yes, time. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? I can't, so, I can't do the okay thing. So you you wouldn't even just re you just not reply no. in that situation. Maybe yeah, I'll I guess you're I'll right. like the message. I guess you're right. I no. gotta let him know I saw it. I always have my read receipts on. Yeah. I I can't. I don't fucking like people that don't have them on. Dude, I don't have them on. I know right you now, don't, bro. 
I, I, I took them off um, because there's a girl I was talking to who didn't have them on. So then since then, I just didn't have See, them on. See, you can't. All right. Here's the thing, Jay. You got to You got to say fuck. But them. also during the time, I feel like during that, there was a period where like I wasn't busy because I literally didn't have work and like I right. wasn't doing shit. So I would read things really quickly and I was like, that's a little suspect. See, the whole key is, is that you open it up in your notifications and you see it. You read it there and you don't actually open the message until you're ready to respond. See, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess I maybe should turn that <laughs> shit back on. I don't know. I just you don't, you don't, you just don't like people seeing when your messages are read. But it's common. I think it's more common. Like, have you seen more people with their read receipts on or off? Lately, off. Like, I, I think it's more off, anyways. But I, back, I, but I back in the that. day, I feel like it was always on. But maybe the people I was texting was always on. And now, like, I'm texting more people. I'm so. just, I go hard. Like, my thing is having your read receipts on is more powerful than having them off. And I think people need to realize that. Like, people with them off, I want to convince them to turn them on. Because they think that they're being, like, slick. Like, oh, like, I could just read it and not respond and take my time. And they'll just never know when I read it. But when you read something, first off, giving them the message that you read it is a message in itself. So but, I like to use that as like a message. But that's what I'm saying to you is that I don't want to ever send that message. Like there's <laughs> there's no there's no there's no Jay doesn't want to be savage. Well, because there's no point where I need to. I feel like I'm always gonna end up responding. It's just a matter of t like when. See, I, I, the thing is, I I don't like to. What if you send me something that's bullshit, and I want you to know? What I do is I read it and I and I let it rock. I just say fuck this. You knew I read this and didn't respond. If you if I just have it on delivered, you'd never know. You'd be like, "Did he get it?" We don't know. I mean, who cares though? I do. I want to send a message without that, sending a message. I feel like you if if it's a day, you got it. <laughs> like you know, the message is there. It's sent either but, way. But see, it's, it's, it's just harsher. Savage. Yes, yeah, it, it's it way more harsh as you read. That's what I'm saying. But you, sometimes you gotta let them know. That's what I'm trying to say, Jay. Is that sometimes like I'm just I'm prepared. To let somebody to let know. somebody know. Like I'm like, all right, this is. But the other thing too is, I use it in a positive way too. Like people think of it as like a negative thing. It's like if somebody sit, like you're like, yo, um, come over here. I'm gonna get pizza. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm on the way. And then you just had your read receipts on, and I just saw like you read my message. I know that you've consumed the information. If you just have delivered on, I don't know if you got my message and if you read it and you were like, all right, he's on the way. That was a bad example. I know, but no, I, I know because we we had this discussion. I feel like previously about like this girl who like that you said that you need that confirmation yeah, yeah. from. I fucked up on that whole thing. Yeah, let's I, be real. Yeah, I, I don't. I you. fucked up on that whole thing. But see, if she had her read receipts on, you would have been fine. I would have been good because she, she, she. I would have known that she comprehended my message, and I would have double texted. Okay, whatever. But when I had the delivered on, I'm like, did, did she get it? I have no idea. I guess you're right. What I, if they got hit by a car? That's what I always assume. If they have delivered on. Right. It's I'm like, like it's, either they, they, it's either they didn't they, they they got respond, hit by Right, or they're dead. <laughs> 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 that's the only two things. If you I don't answer, so. I'm, I get confused. I'm I like, don't know. Right. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe you're right. Maybe I need to put that shit on. Now, you know, it's just, it, it, to me, it's more. I had it on for like. The entire time I had it until yeah. literally this past summer, I turned them off. I know because you let a girl bully you into turning them on. Well, because she, she, she didn't have them on. So I was just exactly. Like, you let her way of life bully your way of life. You can't. I guess you're right. That's what I'm saying. We got to be one of the people that are, we just we prove to people. It. Yes. Just have yes. them on. Let them know. I, I'm telling you, it is more. It, it just. Uh, but I feel like it's a lot more pressure, too. If you do have them on, the problem if is if you right. slip up and press red yes. when you didn't yes. want to, that does happen a lot. That's what that I'm saying. That does happen a lot, and I and I, you know what I mean? Because I open, I'm like, fuck, I didn't want to respond to this right now. Exactly. I read it, and now I got to sit here and I got to fucking respond. Exactly. I'm like a cock. Exactly. So that's that, my point. Yes, that's that my does point. suck. But here's the thing: you just got to power through that idea. Like I, I'm on the point though, where like I, I could read something. And I'm just like, okay, I'll wait they might think hour. I'm ignoring yeah. them, but the reality is, is I just can't respond back. Exactly. Right now. Like exactly. you got to be a grown up and just understand that I might not have the time to respond. Yes. Yes. Okay. And we just got, it's got to be powerful. Yes. That makes sense. So anyways, I got no more tweets, but I've got thoughts. Okay. So go. I'm going to hit you with go, one go, right go, now. Go. Okay. You ready? The next person I'm fucking, I'm marrying. Put it in the book. Besides the people that I'm currently fucking. Wait. <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count, bro. 
<laughs> so it's basically, so I'm saying the you next... Basically, you have a rotation right now, and it's going it's good. zero. No. So I, okay, you are I've currently got one. I've got one on rotation, which sucks, because it's not a rotation. It's more of a... I don't know. It's like a back and forth. There's no rotation. <laughs> it's just you or that's it. No. Sense. So basically, you're saying it's her, and then that's it. The next person, hopefully, is gonna be. Oh, my wife. the next new person. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you say you can go on, back. I can go back in time. I'm allowed to. If they, if if they're on your roster, it no longer counts as sex. Oh. That's my theory. <laughs> <laughs> if your number is not increasing, it doesn't count as sex. So you're saying that your number that is That counts stopped. as jerking off. So you're saying your number is is it, it, it's this locked is it. in. It's like locked right in. now it's like right, it's 23 or whatever it is, 22 and so, it's going to be locked so in you're gonna go, to 24 to be Kobe, it, Kobe. For life. So you're going to go Kobe for forever unless she dies early. And then I got to fuck again. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> so it's not guaranteed to stay at that number, but that's... You're I'm, just saying the next person is a person you're going to marry. I'm going to keep it under a quarter. That's my goal. That's interesting, bro. Well, Wait, why? Here's my, why? Here's, my why? here's my revelation. I don't know. Sex I just, isn't good? <laughs> What you know? What's I guess revelation? you're right. <laughs> That's really what it was, though. The the revelation was is like, okay, so I kind of relapsed this this last weekend because that was really my goal when you had sex with that that girl, right? And maybe well, no, no, no. So we've actually we've done it again. So oh. the one that I so the, the coronavirus girl that I that I slept with, uh, you did it again. Did she get tested again? She she no. Oh yeah, she did. She got a rapid test. So I think she's good. I, to be honest, I've been a little hazy responding, but <laughs> and that's your only one. Yeah, I know. You better, I'm, I'm you better keep it up, bro. Because if that's gone, you're gone. I send like one or two messages a day. I try to do my best. Yes, it's very hard. I'm depressed right now. <laughs> I can't respond. I literally had this. <laughs> I had this one girl who like sends me nudes all the time. Yes. like literally, it's like her face. It seems to me like it's part of her hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, it's just like what she does. She she sent me one yesterday the day before and I didn't respond and this was like the fourth or fifth time I didn't respond to them and she like just sends me this whole paragraph text she's like listen like I see that you're not responding to me like I'm like really sorry if you don't like this like like she's going in on me like I was like listen I'm so sorry I'm just depressed like <laughs> I literally yo I, look at I'm having mental issues yeah, right now I was, like, I was like yo slow your roll first off like it's coming not on, on like, you I it's really on me I, my, my message back was like listen it's not that I don't appreciate them <laughs> it's just that sometimes I'm not I'm like right now I'm not in the mental headspace to be like sending them back or like telling you I'm excited when I'm not I was like yeah I see them and I get excited but you know, I, right now I just can't respond to it. Just I'm not in a good place. I'm not in a good. I literally said to her, I said, depressed. Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> you jerk off to this? I can't. <laughs> so I don't know if she's gonna send me anymore. But anyways, this leads me into our next thing, which is I've been sexually harassed a lot the last two weeks. Yeah. I can't joke about that. No, I'm no, not no, allowed. no. I mean, this is not a joke. No. <laughs> You can tell so, us. Is this why you've well, been depressed? Have you, you been maybe getting? Maybe this is it. Maybe this is part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> See, this thing though is like we were just talking about it before the show. It's not really sexually harassment when it's to a dude. I mean, as right? as long, that's what society tells you, right? Unless it's a dude to a dude, right? Right. A dude right. to a dude is sexually. Even, yes. So like, like when, if a guy gra grabs your dick, I feel like if a girl grabs your dick randomly, is so, that sexual okay, harassment? Physically, okay, I haven't been physically harassed. So you haven't been sexually assaulted. No, right? Is that what that is, right? Uh, yeah, like yeah. that's sexual. That's a lot. That's, that's different. A, that's that, like no, a no. Next that hasn't level. happened to me. No. Okay. I've I've just been, you know, there's there's just things that have gone down. We talked about it before the show. I got a random, like a random number texting me, just out of the blue, like, hey, like had such a great time, like can't wait to see you again, like I'm wine drunk or some shit. What? Are, and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, listen, to be honest, like. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I, I, I felt bad because yes. I thought she was just some girl I gave my number to and I didn't remember. Yeah. So I'm sitting there like freaking out like, oh my God, like, did I like see this girl? And like, she's like sending me like this nice, I was like, I, I look, I'm gonna, I was like, don't be mad at me, but like, who are you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, she like tells me like, I forget what she does. But wait, she had sent you a nude prior to this. No. No, oh, no, no, no. The first message was just a text saying like, I had a great time, like blah, blah, blah. Oh, like I want to see you. This and the other thing, like really, like just a really like long paragraph. And of then just, you like, said, "Who is this?" And I said, "Who is this?" And then, and she, then she starts sending me back 
pictures, which is weird. Just right? automatically two after you said who's right. this. Yeah, two pictures of like her like whole face body, like Instagram style oh, pictures. Oh, okay. And regular pictures. Regular pictures, but then a couple messages go by and sends me an, a nude video of her touching herself titties out and you're like wait this is Chris. and i was like yeah and she was like who is i was like i was like are you sure you have the right person i was like this is chris <laughs> <laughs> and she's like wait that wasn't a typo i was like no i was like here's my instagram like look me up i was like you're cute i'm down <laughs> I, literally said, I threw like a little second like hail mary i was like you know what like i'm kind of down with whatever yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. um but then what the fuck happened she was just like so she thought it was a typo so then i was like yeah no it's not me she's like oh oh well listen you're really attractive um i'm so sorry like i feel so bad i'm so like embarrassed like she was like making it a whole yeah. scene like i can't believe i did this to a stranger yeah yeah, this yeah, and yeah the whole yeah. thing i'm like that's a like, normal response like, yeah yeah exactly i was like oh don't worry your secret's safe with me yeah yeah i was like you were gonna end the conversation i what i tried to multiple times i was like i said enjoy your man i'll delete your video yes. said, please delete it or keep it which is a weird thing to say yeah so either or keep it. She, I was like, she's like, actually, and then like, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, enjoy your man. She's like, oh, well, he's not really my man. He, you know, I don't know. I'm just kind of bored. And to be honest, you know, I'd prefer if you just like kept it. <laughs> now I'm like, wait, what? Who is this girl? I was like, this girl is out of control. I was like, well, listen, I was like, I was like, well, if, I guess if you're ever bored and in Phoenix, like I'm here. And then she's like, oh, you know what? You're just so nice. Like, I'm just going to send you more. And then <laughs> She sends me two more videos of herself nude. At this point, I was like, okay. I don't think that she made a mistake. Yeah, this is a setup. This is like, a setup set moment. Up, right? Like, she got your number somehow. Exactly. And she's just out here trying to, like, She was like, trying to, like, sexually persuade me into something. That's probably why she didn't give you her, like, she was like, didn't she say add me on Instagram? And I she, did. And she was like, no. Oh, yeah, she said no. She said Oh, like because this happened, like it would be weird if we were friends. I didn't. I don't want to be that. Aka, with I you. already am added. I'm already following you. Yo, Aka, I'm already. See following the pieces your ass, were coming bro. together, but as soon as she sent the new two videos, I was like, "This bitch." You know what I mean? I was like, "You fucking lied." Yeah. <laughs> so I left her on red, and we haven't talked since. So I, I don't know. But anyways, oh, I also got sexually harassed two other times. <laughs> It's a weird thing to just like say. I again, it's not really real because it's a girl or guy. We talk about this. Yes. Um, <laughs> I had so I had a, another random girl like kind of add me. Well, it wasn't random. We had like a two second conversation on, on Instagram. She looked pretty cute. She's like, "Oh, here's my Snapchat." But I wasn't expecting any of it. Like we were just like being really friendly, like mm. super friendly. I sent her back a picture. She's sending me like text messages on my Snap. I was like, all right, cool. She's like, hey, like, what are you doing? Like, I want to see you. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right. So I sent her like a selfie. Yeah. And she's like, oh my God, you look so good. She sends me back like just a regular selfie. I'm like, okay. She's like, can I see like more of your tattoos? I was like, okay. So now like I'm freaking out because now I'm starting to like, I'm like, fuck. It's like, this is my like, OnlyFans content that yeah. like, I'm taking for this girl. Like, yeah, yeah. I think she's like doing something. So I send her back because I'm sus. I send her back a video of like my tattoos, like just yeah. being like stupid, like fl I don't know, <laughs> dude. Next thing you know, but again, it seemed really casual. I didn't. I yeah. thought she was just like in her having her own moment. She sends me back a video. It's like her smiling. She's like, oh my god, you look so good. And then all of a sudden, flips the camera around, full clip, and she's moving it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Her lips her, are moving. Like vibrating? No, they're <laughs> like wow. it was literally like tingling. Like wait, I, without without her. Like moving she was it? moving them. Yes. Wait, wait. Without her using her hands. So vagina powers. Yes. Like muscles yes. in the vagina. Yes. She had yes. control. I freaked out. I literally <laughs> received it and I, <laughs> I put my phone down. I was like, yo. Yo, I can't I, see this. I <laughs> yo, have you ever seen a girl do that? I no. That's why it freaked me out. I was like, this girl's got powers. <laughs> she, you know what I mean? Dude, I didn't. Yo, now that I'm thinking about it, like guys can flex like, their we dick. Can flex, right? You can move your dick, but like that's what I'm saying. Like she almost had it. Like she, like she was doing. Like shit. she could control like multiple she was aspects of her yes. vagina. Like uh, you imagine if like a dude was flexing their pecs. Yes, like, she, she was, was doing that with her. Dude, pussy girls ass. could probably do that. <laughs> I feel like probably all girls could do that. Right? I, they, we they just have never just, showed us. Right, and that that's why it freaked me out because I was like, this is the second picture this is his second video I, it was just a lot for me yo i've never seen that i'm just i'm like right now imagining it 
And it like, was just, it was I kind of want to see a girl do that because I feel like that's a skill. Maybe what I can do is I could try to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say, hey, listen. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what that was, but can you like do another one? <laughs> And I'll see if she's okay with me saving it, and maybe we'll. Play. Maybe I'll just ask a girl and be like, "Yo, let me see. I know you guys I, could do I this. Can move it. I know you can move it. <laughs> Show me how to move it." So, anyways, and then the, the last one was some girl. Uh, she sent me a snap. Wait, you didn't respond to that girl after that. So okay, so this was what's another problem with her, which is like, I okay. So with her, this is gonna sound weird. I I just had jerked off. I want to say an hour before I, I snapped her. You said you missed and your I shot. Liter- I literally said to her, like through text, I said, listen. <laughs> I was like, I'm You're sorry. I, I literally said, I just jerked off. Like, I, I'm not really ready. I'm, I'm like, I'm not in the mood for this. Because <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, yes. that's the problem I'm having right now is that on Snap too, it's like weird. Like, like let's say a girl like, tries to like initiate, like send me nudes and I'm not in the mood. I don't really know how to like be nice about it and like be like listen like you know what i mean like, I feel like i'm i depressed shit. i just jacked yeah, off i'm like stop i can't it. do this like you guys gotta stop <laughs> this girl literally does the, the last one the same girl that sends me like the news she literally like sends me a video her sticking two fingers down her whole throat she's like i don't have a gag reflex <laughs> i'm like the yo type of shit? Shit? wait was she talking while it was down there? <laughs> <laughs> like oh, I'm not a gag she, no reflex. no no she sends me that video and in like a message she's like i would fuck you the best of anyone she's like i don't have a <laughs> gag reflex oh like, my yo, god this is just so savage i'm like yo i'm getting harassed but like i'm liking it <laughs> i don't think it's sexual harassment like, no, it's not if it's you're just, if you're if you're enjoying girls. it if you're enjoying it so wait is that the the key to sexual harassment i think that sexual harassment is un- unwanted unwanted sexual advancement i don't think it's unwanted i thought it's unsolicited what do you i mean think, uh, does I it think have to un- be wanted i think it's unwanted all right let's go to uh jay's fucking peculiar mind jay's, jay's peculiar, peculiar mind, mind. Right. Random shit that will make you shit. That was a lot. I don't really yeah. like going in and talking about my Snapchat hose that much. <laughs> I really, <laughs> I've got it a little really bit of a headache. You. Yeah, like, I've been like, fuck, it's a maybe, lot. Maybe the headache from COVID. Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, today we're gonna play a sickness game, bro. Oh, great. So, what I was I'm like, feeling the, a little sick right so, now. So, like, yeah, when I was like uh, working throughout COVID, I was like, dude. Some of these sicknesses, like, I hate. Some of these symptoms of COVID, I hate. So, like, I looked up, like, some of the most, like, common, like, symptoms you get when you're sick. And so... Just, like, in general? Yeah. And Can so, I take a guess at what they are? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Fever, for yes, sure. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, congestion? Yes. Cough? Cough, yes. But, uh, okay, I'm taking out... For the game, cough and, like, congestion, like, nose is out because of, like... I'll, I'll explain the okay. game after, but okay. keep going. Well, keep I didn't going. know there was a whole game involved. There's so, a game. you know what? Tell me before you okay, start guessing. So, so, so the game is going to be... I'm going to, like... I have five different scenarios, situations okay. that you're in. And so, I was thinking that we can talk about, like, which... Uh, which symptom would you want the most and which symptom would you want the least in that scenario? I like this. Okay, yes. So I have to pick which symptom yes. I want. But Okay, the, the, the symptoms that I have, I, I, I decided to go with five different ones because okay. I was like, this is just make it easy. The first one is nausea. Okay. The second one is diarrhea. Okay, I like that. The third one is a headache. Every day. And then the last one would be fatigue or muscle aches. Got it. And I'm supposed to pick one of these? Uh, yeah, you're supposed to pick one that you would want the most in this situation and one you would want the least. Oh, oh, but it's particular situations. Yes. Okay. Five different situations. Okay. So me. so the first one is on a date. So like for me... <laughs> <laughs> so good. So for me, I would think that like the best one for a date would probably be like, honestly... Like I'll tell you the the worst. The worst, yeah, is probably the, diarrhea. diarrhea. Yeah, dude, that'd be a lot. Stomach issues on a date is always it's the, the problem. worst, right? Because it make you feel hell uncomfortable. Then like you're you like, can't get close to the right, girl. You're freaking out. You're like, all right, I gotta go to the bathroom. You're like holding it in. It's, it's running through your mind the whole time. You can't even have a conversation. Yeah, no, it, no, it literally isn't your mind, dude. Like I, I think I was on a date and I was just like, my stomach was feeling like shit, and exactly. I, the whole date was ruined. Like just because it just uh, makes it no fun. I, I was, literally didn't even want to get close to her because I was like, dude, if I let <laughs> one go, bro, this is terrible <laughs> for me, bro. But so uh, that one is definitely the worst. The I would say. 
it's hard because the fatigue and muscle aches. That's that's what I was gonna go with. That probably would be the best one in that situation because yeah. you're gonna be tired. Besides, only the only time that would really suck is if you make it to sex. If it's a first well, date, sex then I is don't gonna care. be one. Sex is okay. gonna be its okay. own category. So okay, if it's just a date, then yeah, I'm gonna take the muscle fatigue. Yes, yes. Because I'm yes. like, whatever. If I'm a little sore, I don't give a it shit. It doesn't matter. Whereas like a headache would be too much yeah, to handle exactly. the girl. You can't talk. Right. Okay, okay, okay. And the next one is an athletic event. So Ooh. that one would the worst one would probably be muscle. F- and like fatigue and like yeah, that would be pretty shitty because you wouldn't be able to do shit. I mean, diarrhea is gonna suck a little bit. Too, diarrhea, but is, all of these are gonna yeah, suck. Yeah, no, that's true. But and also here's the thing. I mean, I, I've I've ran cross country on a little diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm like I'm like what, here and act well, like I haven't or like well, any sport. Dude, cross country is a good sport to have diarrhea because you could just go in the woods. Well, I, it's not like I shit middle, <laughs> dude. What if you like, did? Like I, I mean, there's been people that have been racing and have pooped mid mid race. I just go. Dude, Some people just go because they don't want to stop. In Michael Jordan's like flu game, which wasn't even flu, I think he had just like food poisoning. I think he they had like a, a porta potty on the court for him to like, like take. That's a what shit. I'm saying. Like you just need to get fast exit. But like that's the thing. There's cross country runners that I know for a fact they're running a marathon or something. Some of these people don't want to stop, and they're like, "Yo, if they have, if I have to pee, like, I'll just go." So diarrhea is probably the best one to have them during an athletic event. I don't know about that because <laughs> again, if you gotta shit yourself, that's the worst. Dude, but also if you're playing football and you shit yourself, that would that yeah, would like, deter well, the other team. That would you the, would just be stinky as fuck. That's on, <laughs> dude. Honestly, diarrhea is probably the best one it for just, an athletic just, event. The problem is, is just after. I just hate like. <laughs> Like the soreness of my butthole. You Dude, know what that I mean? Is like the that's worst. the worst part. That's the worst part, especially because you wipe a lot during diarrhea. Yeah, it sucks. And, and right. It's like blowing chafing. your nose with fucking paper towels. Yeah, and that shit fucks your nose up, bro. So but I was talking about the asshole. But I, it is the asshole. That's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> it was I honestly had a chafy butt last night. I and there was no reason. I, I don't know if I had some sort of diarrhea, but I just Maybe it's a hemorrhoid. It was a liquid poop. Dude, I've heard of this thing, hemorrhoids. I think what is it, that? it means like it's like a, a a cut in your asshole, and it makes you feel like you have like, or like her, or maybe it's a hernia. <laughs> maybe it's hernia. Not a, is it a hernia? Is that? I mean, hernias. I've heard of <laughs> hemorrhoid. Yeah, I mean, I mean that made that cool. up. I think I made no, that. No, no, up. no, no. I, it sounded good. Okay. Either way. Okay. <laughs> moving on. The next one is a work meeting. Okay. So I would say the hardest one for me would be like a headache. Headache would suck dick. I wouldn't be able to stand because, like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not enjoying. Like, that. a headache would just headaches I, ruin you, bro. I already don't want to be at work. Yes, never mind with a headache. With exactly. a head, if you give me anything extra, I'm taking the day off. I don't want to do it. At the, yeah, no, a headache would be because because I would prefer the diarrhea because then I would get to leave. So, so you see, diarrhea is now two for diarrhea like, is dope. Two for three, bro. But it was the worst. The one worst the for other the date. One. So diarrhea is is get, it's, it, it's it, not bad. It might be leading a little bit. It's it's, it's definitely one of those things that are uh i want to say underrated yeah because because <laughs> honestly like a diarrhea it's not like affecting you really that much other no. than your like anus it's just liquid shit yeah so, you know and I mean? as long as you can make it to a bathroom right and as long as it's not really that fiery diarrhea like the one that stings your butthole well you told me that you have diarrhea sometimes that just comes out just that's what i'm saying sometimes just a it's one-time good. shooter it's like sometimes it's just like a blast like, <laughs> 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 okay okay the next one is sex okay so uh interesting i feel like i always have a headache during sex anyways really yeah is that a thing for you well it's a thing with the things i do why let's say i take a cialis or viagra they give you headaches bad wait really wh- bad. what the fuck because it opens up your blood vessels so you just get a lot of like it, it just feels like now wonder you can't come, bro. No, 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 this no. This is the issue. Helps. <laughs> Dude, if you have don't a, worry, I you... I prefer the headache over over not having off a a soft D. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna. I'll take the headache. Dude, that's a heart. How, how is what do you mean? I, so I mean, so you're saying is. headaches is the number one for you during sex because you I, have it I'm already. Like, I'm like fuck it. I enjoy it at this point. <laughs> it turns me on. Bro, how can you get like I feel like that's like painful. It's it's not a headache to the point where I can't like focus a little bit, but once you're in the zone in sex, it's like does anything like even if like anything was hurting me, I just feel like you just get adrenaline and you're just going. Like there once you're in it, you're in it. Like I don't even give a shit if I had diarrhea, I could be shitting out of my butt. <laughs> but like <laughs> if I'm fucking like it just doesn't stop. Imagine you did have diarrhea during sex. 
I, I mean, dude, I'm that would sure be, I've had that would be, no, sex. that would be, that would be a little suspect, bro. Because I mean, like, if something came out, if something yes, came out, yeah. if something came out, I feel like it would likely. It would cheat my ass. That's the thing, like with with sex, like having bodily issues it's, is not a yeah, good thing because because no, you really don't have control at that point during that's sex. A, that's what I'm saying. Shit just comes out. That's why. Give me the headache. So so diarrhea the, would be your last. The muscle fatigue, I don't know. That would, dude, yeah, I've been known to cramp during sex. I mean, people cramp during sex. I've done it before. Like it my, happens a my calf to me. or my 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 like thigh sometimes. Oh my god, my thigh! That's the one that kills me. Yeah, the thigh, like the, like the foot or like the the calf, foot one is like ooh. Yeah, it sucks. But the thing is, with the thighs, like you gotta stop. Like yeah. I have to like pause. I'm like, so I, Dude, cramp. I, I feel like I have to pause. No matter if I get a cramp, I'm pausing. Sometimes I, I try to like push it out. Like if I got a hammy one, I just turn my leg. I like stiff it into the ground and I just go. <laughs> you work through I them just, cramps. I, yeah, I do. I just leave it stretched out and I do what I gotta do. Dude, I would probably, I would probably say the worst one is probably you're right. The, the. Actually, I don't know. Headache, I, I don't think I would You don't like it. it. Headaches are the worst for me, especially if it's like a migraine, bro. Well, migraine's different. Migraine, you can't even fucking write your name you can't on a paper. Function. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna have a migraine ever, no matter yes, what. Yes, yes. Okay. So I mean it is what it is on sex. <laughs> the, the last one, the last one is just being alone. So just like Oh what's the like, worst what's the worst thing that could happen when you're just like give no help? To me, it's nausea, bro. I, I hate being nauseous because that like to me yeah. like drains me like yeah. completely. With a headache, you could at least sit there, smoke on the couch. Like yeah. Let it rock. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like, Diarrhea I enjoy alone. You know what I mean? Like I'm like I, I want yeah, it. You you ask I almost for prefer it. it. I say yes. it's underrated. Because dude, if you diarrhea is probably the best when you're alone. Honestly, diarrhea has been the best for most of it's these. Good. As I said, diarrhea is underrated. People, dude, people be, give diarrhea because, a bad name. If you're alone, who gives a fuck if you have diarrhea? That's what I'm saying. Nobody I don't cares. Give a shit. You, if you have diarrhea, who 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 cares? But no, but dude, not I won't judge you. Dude, so like this past week, that's the thing that was fucking me up. Like for some reason, COVID gave me like nausea, and I just like felt like Did you throw up ever? No. I didn't you just felt like you had to i probably should have i oh you just did i didn't i probably yeah. should have but I, didn't. I don't really like to if i don't have to like i'm one of those people like even when i get drunk <clears throat> like i'd prefer to keep in yeah. my throw up than actually like people like some people are like shove a finger down my fucking throat make me throw up i feel like, like when you're no, drunk dude when you're drunk you should do that i see no if I'm you're good. nauseous when you're drunk, you should let it go. See, some people do. That's what I'm saying. Most people would prefer the route of let me throw up. I'm like anti throw up. I'm like, I don't want to throw up ever. <laughs> I, I don't want to do it. All right, let's go to the meat. Yeah. Meat, meat, meat. Bring on the meat. <clears throat> this ain't no vegan shit, bro. I want to see your meat. Oh. Well, we already talked about my super spreader birthday party. Yes. So I, I'm going to say this. I'm just gonna start off with this. It, this is making me feel better. You know, I was having a really, I was having a really rough week, and I feel like this podcast has made me feel better, <laughs> bro. Maybe it's just because you were low. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> no, well, maybe that's it's why like, you were. Well, maybe because you're lonely. <laughs> maybe that's why you're depressed. You better check yourself out. <laughs> maybe that, like, maybe you just haven't hung around people. No, I haven't. I haven't because of COVID. It freaks me out. So, no, that's true. It definitely has made it harder because I'm it, like, ah, I don't want to do anything. And that's the thing. It, I feel like the more you're alone, the more you get into like a pattern where like I want to be alone, even yes. though you, you don't like you really? shouldn't be. Yeah, alone. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no, weird. It's very true. I, and uh, I was listening and there's two thoughts I have on this. Um, one. OK, let me just respond to what you were saying, yeah. which is the absolute truth, which is like I've been because I've been alone. Like it makes me or or I want to be more alone. Like, yeah, I've been I've been feeling like that lately. Like I've been feeling like. I don't want to see anyone. Yes. Like, I just want to just like be by myself and like not talk to anybody and not interact with people. Like, I'm giving my mom, like she's living here. I'm giving her a hard problem. Like mom, just like, oh, you're fucking in my face. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't fucking say that to her. You know what I mean? But I'm like, I'm like giving your attitude. Like, well, you're here for like fucking a month and a half. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm 28, bro. <laughs> I'm like, if I was in, I literally told her, I was like, mom, if I was in a relationship, I was like, you could stay here for as long as you want. I was like, I don't give a shit. Wait, why? But because I'm single. Wait, why having you my in mom a relationship? Because at that point, it's game over. Wait, what? When, once you're in a relationship, then it's like I don't give a fuck who's around. Like my friends can be around twenty four seven. But the thing is, Wait, like, <laughs> I, I'm confused. Okay, you want me to explain? Yes. Okay. So this is what I told her. Here's the deal. Look, if, if you're my mom, I'm single right now. Yes. Right? It's hard to have people come over and do the whole thing. 
when she's here. Oh, okay, okay. So, I understand so, what you so, mean. But okay. It, it, not even in just a sex way, but more in like, okay, I'm Any, single, yes. I need to grind. Yeah. Whereas like if I was in a relationship, I'd be like, all right, like I don't give a fuck yeah, who's around. Like, yeah, all right, yeah. I, I know I'm gonna be with this girl in my yes, room and yes, like we're chilling. Yes, like yes, you know yes, what I mean? Yes, We've yes. already had the relationship, you know my mom, we're we're all cool, like I'm not trying to get any more pussy at this point. Like game over. Wait, Life's saying over. that you said you had sex with this girl a second time. Yeah, was your yeah, mom yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So let me <laughs> So let me get into that because that's why he was like freaky so my mom doesn't know that she's upstairs right now she Hopefully doesn't know not, she doesn't know she i i haven't told her because i just like you know what i mean like i didn't really want to like throw it in her face because i just feel like it's weird yeah. to like be like hey mom fucked on the couch when you were asleep oh <laughs> she was upstairs she was upstairs Dude, i what felt like she i was down? in grade school again i that's what i'm saying is like this is why you should have done the a pot see, you should have done this room see i was okay before she came over, I was like, all right, what's my move? Like, what's my plan? I was like, I know I'm going to have sex with her. Like, where am I going to do it? So, like, in my mind, I was like, you know what? Like, maybe we'll just, like, you know, we'll, we'll start on the couch. And then I'll be like, hey, like, you know, like, let's, like, like go down. And, like, I, like, I thought we were going to fuck on the stairs. Dude, that's right. <laughs> I feel like this is a good spot because if you hear your mom, you're like, go outside. Right. But see, here's the thing. Okay. I know my mom very well. And here's what's a little freaky. My mom leaves her door open when she sleeps. And you know why she does this is because she tries to like hear what I'm doing. <laughs> but here's the problem with Camille. Camille is the heaviest sleeper mm. of all time. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. will not wake up. Yes. It yes. doesn't matter. Like since we were kids, bro, we used to have sleepovers and we used to be chucking beanie babies in the basement. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like <laughs> grenades. Like my <laughs> neighbors would complain and my mom would be asleep. Wow. Okay, you know what okay, I mean? Yes. So she's out. Yes, so yes. Because I knew this. I was like, you know what? I'm going to be fine. First off, I was like, fuck it. Like, I don't care. She like comes downstairs. If I'm she like, comes fuck. downstairs and you're guys naked, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck are you going to do? That would be so awkward. Do you have a blanket at least? So, yes. Okay. So, yes. so you're covering it so up we a had, little right. bit. Just so, in case. So I was like, okay. So I was like, oh, all right. Like, I was like, my mom's here. I was like, it's kind of weird. I was like, but to be honest, like, I was like, if you want to come over and like, you want to just like be really quiet, like I'm down. She's yeah. like, all right. I'm, oh, she's like, fine. Let me know when she's asleep. So she's asleep. So I text her. I like, come over. She's like, came, whatever. I was like, all right, like whatever. We're just kind of chilling. Like, I, I don't know. Like I literally just threw some like TV. I had some music on and I was like, before she came over, I was playing it a little loud so yes. that like Smart. it would just drown it out. Smart. Right. She would sleep with it on yes. and it would just be already loud. Yes. So I was like, all right, cool. Yes. But yeah. So anyways. I, like it was fucking weird though. You know what I mean? Like I haven't felt like that in the longest time. I was like, I'm like fucking, I'm like feeling bad. My mom is. Were you trying house. to rush the cum? So like, okay, I didn't really necessarily take my time. <laughs> so like, you know what I mean? feel like normally, you wouldn't. Uh, normally, I uh, like you know, in I that just want her to join, right? But in that situation, yeah, we're just I, trying. I, she to, definitely knows the deal too, right? She yeah, has yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. She has to know your mom's upstairs. No, she does. She she felt weird because like she didn't want to get caught. She's like, what do I do if your mom comes downstairs? I was like, just I was like, fuck it. <laughs> that was like my advice. I was like, I don't know. We'll just figure it out. Like, what am I? What am, like? I don't, I don't even know what would have happened. Like, imagine she would have walked downstairs. I, I don't even know what I would have said. I would have just been like, I would just would have shrugged my shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I would feel just like, like, I feel like you're gonna say anything. I, what am I supposed to say? I'm I feel like, like she would just probably go back upstairs. That's what I'm saying. Right? I'd she, be like, I'd be like, Camille, like, what are we doing here? You know what I mean? I'd be like, eh. like I'm 28. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be like, listen, come on, you're in my house. <laughs> so like, yeah, it was like, kind of weird, but uh, it was. I mean, it was good. So you told her though. <clears throat> you, you had a conversation I told her, with her. Yes. That's what I'm saying. She was aware. She no, no, I'm it. talking about your mom. You've had a conversation about like you being single with your mom. Oh yes. So yeah. So I mean, um, we got into like a little bit of argument yesterday. I was like, I pretty much told her to her face. I was like, listen, mom, if I was in a relationship, stay here as long as you want. I was like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> but it's COVID. That's probably why she has I, to stay. No, no. Yes. I mean, she just also wants to like stay here. It's also a lot shittier and on the east coast yes, and whatever yes, she yes. just wants to also stay here she's like i'm here i'm her son i'm supposed to want to hang out with her <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding she's cool yeah but yes. again it's like again who wants to live with their mom there's a reason i'm on the west yeah, coast and yeah. she's on the east yeah you know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah. I, I like having my space i like the thing is the other thing too is like i don't really work well from a tiktok perspective with people in my house yeah that makes that's sense the only reason too. i'm not even dating my ex is mm. because i just like i'm like I need my space. Yeah. I can't take videos in front of people. It's yeah. the weirdest thing. Yeah. So like, even though she's like here and she's staying out of my way, it still feels like, all right, there's times where like, I want to use my living room and I don't really have that opportunity. Or, yeah. You, you know what I mean? It's not, again, it's something. And that's why I told her, like, listen, I was like, Camille, it's like nothing personal. It's like, <laughs> at least nothing to do with like you at all. I was just like, 
I, you know, I'm single right now. Like I, I want to get you done. I want to be working. I want to be, you yeah. know, having sex with whoever, whenever. Yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. just have my own space to my own. And what myself. did she say? She's crying. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> she's like, you unappreciative bastard. You know what I mean? Like she's going in on me. Like, <laughs> and understandably so. Yeah. I get it. I'm like, yeah, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm telling my mom to get the fuck out. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, so it's been it's been kind of sus around here. Yes. Wait, what was the two things I wanted to say? I don't know. Remember, I said I had two things. Yes. What was, was the initial I think, question? I think the we were talking about first about like the depression and stuff like that. Yeah. How how I was saying that it was you were like forcing yourself to isolate because like yeah, yes yeah yeah I like wanted to just be alone. Oh yes. Okay. So here's the other thing. So, yeah, so that whole situation is a thing. Like, she's still upstairs. Whatever. You know what I mean? I'm just biding my time. It is what it is. And then also the sex thing. You know, it was cool. I came in her mouth, which was amazing. Oh, God. I was like, dude, it was great. It, honestly, it was it was a lot better than the second time. Oh, okay. Because okay. I I was like, ha I was on this, like, kick in my mind. I was like, I need to come into her <laughs> mouth. <laughs> you I was like, I it. need it. Right. Yeah. And I need, I, like, I literally, I finished. She like she's like did anything get on me and uh, she's like no I was like oh great job you know <laughs> just like, good job awesome you bat air on the head bro because <laughs> yeah. like that was the sus part because like she was laying on the couch you know, like first off I hate fucking on my couch because it's just like it's just smushy it, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of give. like uh, right exactly yeah. there's too much gift or too much you know what too I mean much it's give. just yes. like it's like a pillow you it's like you're right exactly so yeah yeah so, yeah but it, it was such a situation. Um, she was like laying down. I don't know why I'm going into this. Maybe yeah, I shouldn't. Wait, was that the second thing? No, it wasn't. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> so, okay. Here's the second thing. I'm, I'm having this problem again or the, the epiphany that I want to be around more, um, ambitious individuals in mm -hmm. my life. I feel like, um, I don't know. I feel like the some of the people that were I, and it's just COVID. You know what I mean? Again, it's, it's a lot of this is probably just people not having the space, the freedom to do what they want. But it, it's been really hard for me to like, uh, you know, be around friends that just want to sit inside and smoke weed all day. Yeah. I mean, that listen, uh, that's all I'm doing right now. So I'm no different than <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I want to put myself in a different scenarios and I want to start trying to give my time to people that are on a grind or, yeah, like, or yeah. just like over the top ambitious. I've been like having these like crazy thoughts of like wanting like big change. And maybe it's just because, again, I'm feeling like a little sus, mm -hmm. depressed, and I'm going to get over it. And like, these people are like my homies for life, mm -hmm. loyal. I will never not be my friend's friends. Mm -hmm. Talk about it a lot. But yeah, so like I've just, again, with that thought and then also being depressed and then also just wanting to be alone all the time, it's been very difficult because I'm like, I don't even have anybody in my life that I want to like hit up and be like, yo, I want to hang out with you right now. Yeah, no, you know what I, mean? I, I I feel that. I feel the, the same. And I, I, I think I went through a, a stage kind of similar um, where like the more you isolate yourself, like I said, the more is the more you want to be isolated. And yeah. You, you think that like like i don't know what it is it's a weird feeling because you also feel like you're doing better just like by yourself right even though you're not even though i'm not no it, absolutely it's true. actually it's the, absolutely and, the, true. and every time i guarantee you do hang out with people it's usually good yes i i, I just think um i was listening so i i climbed a mountain i came back <clears throat> i'm using like my cousin's car because my car is broke so i've been listening to this radio and i've been listening i threw on npr mm -hmm. for some weird reason it just came on i just started listening to this and this girl was talking about um like having good conversations with people and she was talking about how it's really difficult right now that people think that they're having social interaction with people by talking to people online but it's kind of like empty calories she's mm -hmm. like thinking about it like kind of i don't know I don't really know how the analogy she used, but pretty much she was like, she was trying to say is that right now what we're missing as a, as a society is like real conversation. She's like, you will feel so much better. You don't realize how important having a phone call or a face-to-face mm -hmm. -face conversation yeah. is with somebody. Yeah. It just makes your life and your day that much better. When you're having all these conversations with people online and you're not having the, she's like, what happens is, is when you have all these conversations with people online, you don't have the energy to, um, have the conversations with people in person. She's like, you only have a certain amount yes. of like social energy. Yeah, yeah. And if you use it, just talking to people online, you're wasting it because yeah. you're not getting any real value out of those relationships. And then you're expending all of your energy. Does 100%. that make sense? No, like, dude, I, I, this girl sent me like, 
she was talking about this problem with her guy and she literally sent me like 20 messages and like dude i had to stop reading because i was like dude most of this is just garbage i was like your conversations are absolutely worthless (laughs) like i was like oh jesus christ literally it's like oh how are you doing today oh right i'm good how are you like literally 20 text messages i'm like dude who talks like this right this is why i don't text people is because it's absolute bullshit right it's uh, you're just wasting your time like wasting energy like at the end of it the day, dude, another thing that you, I think that COVID is doing, which is weird, is that it, like it's it's, I don't know, it's 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 dimin- diminishing our creativity and ability Absolutely. to like communicate in general because we Absolutely. have nothing to fucking talk about. No, and now like it's weird because I don't even know what we used to talk about. Like I don't even know yeah. what we used to do for fun, anyways. Yeah. Before, <laughs> like what like what was yeah. pre-COVID like? Like what was like our lives like? Why was our lives so much better then? Like what did I do differently? I don't know because I can't remember. I think it just comes down to the real interactions. I I really just think that right now we're in a in a time where everything is online so like everything that we're experiencing we're experiencing through a phone but what we're not understanding or not realizing is that like half the shit you see on the internet is like curated and yeah. or bullshit yeah complete like anybody yeah. can have a fucking opinion yeah. and you're reading that shit no yeah. whereas like we can't just spend our time like off social media and hanging out with people that we respect their opinions and have these good conversations exactly that's the part we're missing so now we're just having these like shit conversations or spending our energy with Again, just crap that like is we don't know if it's real or not real. We're seeing only the good sides of shit. Meanwhile, everybody behind the scenes is fucking miserable. Everybody, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like you don't see any of it online. You're just like, ah, like everybody's doing good. Like, no. Everyone's fucking up right now. Everybody, you know everybody I mean? dude, honestly, it is. It's, it's fucked up. It's, I don't it's, know. It's too much. But okay. So here's the other thing. I also did go on a date. And I know we didn't yes. talk about it no. last time. That's because we didn't have a podcast. That's cause right. Cause Jay got <clears> COVID. <throat> Super spreader birthday party. Yes. And we weren't able to have a party, which sucks because again, th- this, this for me just made me feel so energetic. You know what I mean? And I, again, I've been feeling so sloppy. Like I, again, I didn't want to even like, do, I almost didn't even want to do the podcast today. Like before yeah. you even like text me, I was like, damn, I don't even feel like having a conversation, but now that like we're here and we're doing it. Yeah. I yeah. just feel that much better. So maybe the key and sorry, I'm just, no, 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 go, it, go. The, is you got to just make the effort. To try to have those real conversations with people. Call up your friends on yes. the phone. Whatever it is. I don't know. Somehow meet up. Do the whole thing. Whatever. I just got to find cool people to hang out with. The, yeah. The I, but I also think <clears throat> you just don't give the opportunity to to those people that are already in your life. Because I, I, I do think that when you do hang out with them, we do have good conversations. I think we do have a good time. Even if it's just sitting here smoking weed. Yeah. Like, I think that... Yeah, that's I, I think that, that that that's something that like you might like forget is that like those even though it's like just chilling here and not doing anything because there's nothing to do right now in the world, right. those moments do help you grow too because they yeah. they do like stimulate conversation that like isn't yes. there. I think that you might have a view of those like in your mind because you have isolated. I, I think you have a view that that wasn't good anyways. Right. When in reality that was. Yes. That's, that's probably really true. Because like, really like the podcast I, I today. I turn around and I'm like, ah, like everything that I feels like everything that I'm doing in my life doesn't feel good enough. Yes. You know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. feel like, oh man, like, is that where I really want to be? Or is like, are those, these people I really want to be around? And yeah. it, it questions you in your mind and you're just like going over and over and over and you just start second guessing yourself in all of my moves. It's not even just the friends. No. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm literally questioning whether I like to do things. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. the shit I like to normally do. I'm like, fuck. It's like, I, should I, should I be going to the gym every day? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> should I be doing this? Like, I don't even know if I even like it anymore. It, it, it freaks me out. It, it, it makes me question. It. I think, I think the, the key is just to keep like putting yourself out there and in, into those opportunities. Like you, mm. you, you want to go out and meet people like, yes, COVID's here, but like, if you want to meet like people that are entrepreneurs or people that are go getters, dude, there's definitely services out there or not services, but there's definitely like things you can look up online right now today and like go hang out with a group of people that do those things. Yeah. You know, and that's what Camille was preaching to me. She's like, join a, uh, it's like a entrepreneur society. Yeah, there's like young professional clubs out there right. everywhere. But see, my my thing was like, do I really want to join that? You're, just, <laughs> you're like the people that join that. I don't I really know. I literally said that. I was like, I was like, Camille. I'm gonna be honest. I was like, yeah, like they're cool. I was like, come on. 
<laughs> I think these people are nerds. <laughs> like, I don't want to hang out with these that, people. That's that's what I'm saying is that that's how you go and you find like maybe yeah. one guy yeah. who does like join right. it. If you joined it, somebody else might join exactly. it. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, you know, I'm working on it. I guess we have to look up some of these yes. entrepreneur societies <laughs> in Arizona. <laughs> see what's I'm good, sure, bro. Yeah, see, see, what, see what the scene is. <laughs> um, I was thinking about making like a like a, a hinge friend profile. They have like hinge. Oh, they no, BFF. it's Bumble BFF. Bumble BFF. Yes, okay, they they, they have that. that. They do. But dude, you have I, to I'd watch out. out. No, like, you have to watch no out. There's no way, dude. I did I did it just to promote the podcast. Oh no! But all of them were gay guys, bro. Oh. <laughs> all of them were just hitting on me. They yeah, were just, yeah. dude. I, but I got way more matches on Bumble BFF. <laughs> dude, I'm a Bumble BFF all star, bro. <laughs> like people were wanting to match me left and right. There is. They so love me. Maybe I should join. Well, like you just said, it could get a little scary on there. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> I'm going to have to wear a shirt on my pictures or something. <laughs> anyway, so speaking of which, I, I think it also kind of a lot of things have stumbled since the date. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, not so, that I want to talk about this. I don't know why I brought it up twice because I don't want to I, talk well, about I it. Well, I want to talk about it. Sure. Because you haven't been on a date for a long time. Right. The podcast has always heard my dates. So right. today we're hearing Nappy's yeah. date. Well, I'm sad about it still. Okay. Okay, um, so why don't you just describe, just like how you guys, I guess, like okay, so really everything. simple. I yeah. mean, it was just bullshit. Like I literally, this girl DM me online. She said she's shooting her shot. Shared like ten messages. She likes the same music I do. We both live in Arizona. I was like, cool. So I was like, dope. This girl's actually pretty. She hangs out with a cool crowd. Like seems like she, you know. Did again, you have I, mutual friends? Yes, we had mutual friends. Um. She was friends with some of the old kids in her old fraternity. Mm. So she's a little bit younger. Um, but anyways, I kind of like knew of her, saw like kind of like, anyway, she was just like a cute girl, whatever. Had a lot of like weird things in common. Again, we're both in Arizona, both like the same kind of music, both hang out around like kind of sus people. I was like, this is cool. Like this is like really promising. I haven't had like a promising yeah. like seed in a long time. You were hyped for it. I was. That's I'd why come- you asked her on the date. You didn't just ask her to come Correct. and fuck. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. But see, I should have. Because <laughs> I would have had more success with that. Um, but anyway, so, I mean, it was good, but. So you took her to a restaurant. I take her. I so I invite her out. I'm like, so I send her um, the date location. I was like, here's where we're going. One o'clock. I was like, don't be late. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I was like, all right, cool. So anyways, day, day of the date comes. And this is at the day after the super spread birthday party. I should probably tell her that. You know, we were all positive. Oh, yeah, I it never, was. I forgot. Yes. But at this time, you didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't have any symptoms. And then also, again, the other girl didn't. I didn't even have symptoms. Right. So it was too early. Yeah. Anyways, um, I get there. I'm sitting there. I told this story a little bit on my TikTok, but I'm waiting for her to show up. So yes. I'm in the booth. First off, it's sus. We're in this place. It's packed. Yeah. I'm not dressed probably as like much as I should have. I'm, well, I'm wearing a t-shirt. A and like ca- Right. I'm wearing a t-shirt and khaki. So I'm like, I'm chilling. So I'm not really even like, I wasn't even stressing it. I was like, yeah. this is going to be good. Like whatever. We, I, they give me this huge fucking booth. It's packed. And I'm telling you, this is like an eight person, eight person booth. What? But they gave it the to us fuck? for two people. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm sitting there alone initially. And that's crazy because you had a reservation to this I place. Did. And but they, maybe that's why I, I had such a good spot is because I had the reservation. They gave you an eight-person booth? It, it was unnecessary. It may have been six, but that's honestly, so ridiculous. It, was, it, was too, it was right. It was too, too much for, for everybody. For, right. Yeah. So I'm sitting there by myself for a little bit. She's late, of course. Um, I'm like waiting, waiting. And then all of a sudden, I see this girl walk in. She like looks flustered. She like turns around. She like looks at me and she like smiles. I'm like, fuck, like it's her. But I realized, bro, she's got heels on. They're probably like three inches. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they're four, but they're, they're tall and she's tall. And I'm like, fuck. It immediately goes in my mind. I'm like, fuck. Yes. Like I'm in trouble. Cause like, I'm not tall. (laughs) <laughs> she long just, story short right she i just well, so she, so. she walks over to the table <laughs> i quickly get out of the booth and give her a hug quick yes. one yes Boom. sideways hug yeah. couldn't even get over the top yes because usually i would like an over the top hug yeah yeah in yeah. an ideal world yeah 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 didn't happen yes so quickly up down i don't think she again she didn't see the full did you show. do that quick because you knew 
Did you know when you I, saw her? <laughs> when you saw her, did you immediately say, or you yeah. didn't know yet? No, 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 no. So, right. I didn't, I didn't know for sure. I didn't know for sure. But were like, you was, nervous? I, I knew it was going to be close, okay. and that freaked me out just... So from the jump, from close, jump, you were nervous. From yes, this. Okay. Well, one, I was ready, like you know, slight nerves just being on a date. Yeah, but then also that happened, and then I like it. Just, I got fucked up about yes, it. You yes. You know what I mean? So she, well, just, anyway, she. I give her a quick hug. She sits down. She's all happy. Whatever. We actually ended up having a good date. You know what I mean? I feel like we like talked about a lot of stuff. We were there for like three, four hours. Okay. Like really, like a long wow. fucking time. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, enjoying yeah. the conversation, whatever. You know what I mean? It doesn't look that sus. We're like we're like eye level. Yeah. And again, I don't really know. I really don't know for a fact. Yes, yes. But yes. I, you anyways, have a feeling. I have a feeling. And okay, see, here's where it gets really sus. We have a good day. You know, she's just like talking to me. She does make this whole like little joke about like some dude like douched her that she met on a Tinder date that faked his height. And she showed up. That's a sketch ass comment. comment. That's yeah, a yeah, sketch yeah, yeah. ass comment. She's like, she's telling me the story. She's like, yeah, I had this terrible date once. This guy from Tinder like shows up. He like lied about his height and everything. And I was like, dude. <laughs> I was like, brutal. <laughs> In the back of my mind, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so, at, you know, whatever. Anyways, we get up. Um, she goes to the bathroom really quick. I'm like, fuck. And then I kind of need to go to the bathroom. So I went and went to the bathroom. And then she's back at the booth. Um, I come back and I'm walking towards the booth and I just feel like I remember seeing her face. Like it just changed. You know what I wait, mean? Wait, like, so, you, <laughs> so you saw it change. Yes. For sure. Or is it in and your head? Here's, here's what I'll tell you head? why. Cause I feel like she made an excuse. So I walk out to, <laughs> to the booth. I'd already paid. Right. Yeah. So I walk to the booth. She's sitting, you know, she stands up really quick. She's like, Oh, I didn't, I didn't know where you went. I was like, oh, yeah, I just went to the bathroom. Oh, she stood up to... Well, no, no, she just... I mean, mean, normally just standing up. But she, like, she looked confused, startled, right? But I think it's because when I was walking over, I think she realized that, like, I wasn't really tall. Oh, okay. But then then she said, oh, I didn't realize where you went. Oh, 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 oh. So, so she, I, she, I mean, she I tried could be to wrong. brush it off. I could be wrong. But Maybe you think she that really moment. was. I think it was the moment that she realized, like, all right, like, this is, this dude's not taller than me. Yes, right now. yes, yes. So, anyway, she stands up or walks to the car. I couldn't look her in the face. Like, we're walking to the car, and I just, like, couldn't even, like, go, like, I couldn't look her in the face. Because, yeah, yeah. like, I was just, like, this is awkward for me. Like, yes. It, and it shouldn't be. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I should have had more confidence in this and said, fuck it. Like, yeah. if she's, like, a little taller than me in heels, it is what it is. Yeah. Like, I got to just deal with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the reality is, is I was in my own head. I wasn't confident. And it killed me. And yes, it killed me. Because yes. we were walking back to the car. Normally, I'd be, like, handsy, yeah. physical, yeah, 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 initiating, yeah. being more confident. I just couldn't do it. I We were just walking to the car. I was just having, you know, regular. Because you like, already felt like she had, like preconceived, like, yes, all right, judgments. I don't fuck with this. But yes. I didn't know. You don't know. And that was what was wrong. So we get in the car, you know what I mean? I'm dr- like, first off, okay, here's the sus part. She Ubered. So the other shitty part for me is we go back to the car and I'm driving my cousin's car. And I'm like, I don't know why, but I also felt weird like driving her around in like a crappy Toyota Corolla. Like, you know what I mean? Like it, it wasn't my car. Like yeah, yeah, I normally yeah. have my car, which I'm a little bit more comfortable in. It's yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. nicer. So I'm like, hey, it's like, well, it's my cousin's like car. It's got like a dent in the side. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. ah, I feel kind of weird. Anyways, I drive her back um, to her place because she Ubered. You know, we're just having casual conversation in the car. This is like a one like awkward pause, but like nothing crazy. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't abnormal. We get to the, her fucking spot. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, what? Like, do I kiss this girl right now? I was like, I normally do. And I feel like every good date usually ends on a, on a kiss. Yeah. So wait, how does she get out of the car though? So, so that, okay. So that's where it is. So we stop. Yes. She kind of looks at me. She's like, Oh, I had a really good time. And like, we should really do this again. But she like does like this two hand thing to like go to the door to like open the door. So So it was like, it was like halfway. She like turned her body away. Right. So in my mind, I was just like, she's not down for Uh, that. Yes. Yes. So, but because she did that, I was like, you know what? I was like, let me get out of the car. Which was dumb as shit because we were sitting. At least I could have got away with it. But I stood back up and got out of the car to go give her a hug again and embarrass myself one more time. At least that's what you <laughs> think, though. You think it's an embarrassing thing. So yeah. so it, this was in your head. So, so it was in my head. So I, so I go around the car. Like Again, I, I, 
I just didn't have the energy that like she was like down. But again, it could have just been me freaking out. You know what I mean? Which is more likely what it was than anything else. And I just remember like walking up to her again. She's just like, and like this time she's like on the curb. I'm like, fuck. You know oh, what I mean? Shit. She had a little bit of a, a double, uh, oh, a double little, advantage. Oh, okay, okay. So you gave her. Why didn't you stand up, bro? On the curb too. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why wouldn't you? Oh, why wouldn't like, you go to the same level as I her? Been like, why would, it was why? like a little. It was like a little ramp. It why? wasn't like a curb. It was like a ramp to get over the curb. So it was slight. It would have been weird to be like, "Hey, move over." Like no, off the ramp. not not move over. <laughs> but it seems like if you're on a curb, you wouldn't stand down. <laughs> you you would go side by side with her. <laughs> why would you go on the, like? I just walked into her normal. You know what I mean? Like normally, I would just walk up to her and be like, "All right, leave you." So like, she later. like hugged down on you. No. <laughs> No way, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> How did this happen? I, I initiated the hug. Okay, okay. So, I, you know what I mean? I, I, I was just saying goodbye. Yeah. At this point, in my head, I was like, okay, I'm probably not going to kiss her. And uh, this is what I was thinking in my head. I was like, you know what? I'll drop her off. If she wants to hang out again, I know she fucks with me. And I wouldn't have any reservations yeah. about going hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she'd probably know to like not yeah. you know, overdo it with the heels. Um, so anyways, I, yeah, I gave her this fucking like up hug. Cause like I, you, again, it just, yes, I would prefer a downward. Hug. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, yes, I, yes. Absolutely. It, it just felt like we were around the same height. She was a little bit taller Bro, heels and I just, I couldn't do it. Bro, I couldn't pull the trigger. This is, this is crazy. Cause like you always talk about how you want to date a giraffe one day. Bro. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. You I all, you that. Th- back, no, 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 dude, no. somebody out, pull up out. the old podcast here's, where here's Nabby's like, yo, I want, I want to date somebody receipts. tall as fuck. I want to walk time in out. and my like time girl I'm Not with. Not the is, love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you said the girl I'm with, I want to be tall as fuck, Listen, bro. I said it's on my bucket list to be with a gazelle, to be with a giraffe <laughs> once. This isn't the person I want to be with permanently. <laughs> and so, so this is just one person, one time six foot let me play some offense you play some defense yes That's okay it. okay okay but it, it, it wasn't I didn't, this I didn't girl. want it to be okay i'm hanging out with a girl that i potentially would really like and haven't really liked a girl in a really long time and she was and tall. she was tall and we didn't know you know what i mean i i here's my mistake is that now i know for the future like i'm gonna say something i'm gonna be like listen like if you're like fucking five eight five nine like i, I like i don't know if i want to hang out with you. Dude, or I- or i will like give you the option like hey this is where i'm at Dude, after this, I have this TikTok for you. Literally, it reminded me just of you because, like, it was like, um, I forgot what it's called. That when, um, it's basically outside a door, mm-hmm. the, the camera they have outside a door, and this guy was like, "Don't ever wear those shoes around me again." <laughs> <laughs> to this girl, he's like, he's like, next time we hang out, don't ever wear those shoes no, around me again. He literally saying. calls her out, bro. I see. It really bugged me. Don't wear heels to the first date, man. It was a lunch. You know what I mean? That's what freaked me out. But honestly, I really think that How she, tall do you think she really is? She's probably like five seven, five eight, and then I think she threw another three inches on there. She was probably like five ten, like five. Wow, nine. wow. So she so that's that's like she's already that, a, like that's what I'm saying. That's, it's that's not like pretty, she was a short girl wearing yeah. heels. Like she The thing she, is though, here's 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 what I truly think. And here's the thing, I don't really know what happened. Mm-hmm. Like I don't really know her like why we didn't like continue. What and I can tell you what happened after. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I just feel like she just seems like a tall, lanky girl that wants a taller dude. Like yeah. she just seems like a girl that would enjoy being with somebody taller. That's pro- that's you know probably I mean? why she wore heels is because she wants because exactly. she is taller, so she wants she wants to, to confirm that in, in heels, heels she's still taller. Yeah, I mean she's still shorter because she wants to be able to wear heels. Exactly. That was my literally. I was like, why else would you wear it on the first date unless you wanted that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So, um, but yeah. And anyways, after that all happens, and again, I I I, don't, I really don't know her reasoning. Again, it could just be that I wasn't really confident yeah. in the moment, and I probably should have been more. Um, but anyways, so the next day goes by, no, I didn't hear anything from her. I usually never text them first yeah. after the date. That's my rule is that I take you on the date. You text me yes. first. I let that happen all the time. And I feel like it's a good rule for dudes. Cause that's how you know if the girl I feel like it's you. interesting because there's this girl I talked to who literally liked this dude mm. and she was like, he didn't text me back. So he doesn't like me. So he, that's the other thing too. It's like, okay, 
that that is true and that's my thought about the girl like, so but that's what i'm saying so if everybody's both, playing this dumb game then it's, it's 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 fucking stupid but here's the thing though my thing was i was like i give them the time but because she didn't text me at all i did text her the yes, next day yes yes so i'll give her 24 hours or whatever it is a day or two and then i would text again if I, here's the thing I maybe wouldn't have, wouldn't have if I was more confident on the date. Mm. So at that point, the next day I text her like, Hey, listen, like, just want to let you know, like I had a good time, like whatever. And she's just sort of like, ha ah, ha, like, all right, I'll text you back. I was like, okay, cool. She said, I'll text you back. She said, I have a meeting. What oh, did I text oh, oh, oh. her? She's like, Oh, I have a meeting. I'll text you back after I said, okay, I didn't hear from her at all. So she just like, didn't follow up. So okay. it's already a red flag. That's a weird thing to say. Like I'll text you back after and then like not text. Like that, that, yes. that's very that's like But she already didn't text me back after the date and then now she's like she flaked almost immediately yeah. after that. I already knew that it was pretty much dead the water. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I didn't get the text. I almost, I pretty much knew it was done. Yeah. Most girls that really fuck with me that yeah, after you're going to they'll text. You're going to text. They're yeah. just going to say, "Hey, thanks for dinner." Exactly. Or whatever it is cuz yeah. as I feel like as the dude because I've paid and I've taken you out you normally would reach out and say hundred percent. You. If you're into like either way, if you're a girl or a guy, if you're into somebody, you're going to want right. to reach out. Right. Exactly. So again, I ended up ultimately doing it, whatever. She just like, kind of like was wishy washy, but then twice during the week, I posted two stories and she like heart eyed one of them. And then like two days after that, she like messaged me again, like re just re replying to my story, like casually. Um, so I was like confused. I was like, like, do you like fuck with me or yeah. like, I don't know. So we were having like a little uh, chat back and forth on Instagram. And I think she was telling me about like, she was talking to me about like one of the jobs that she was doing on the day. She's like, Oh, I'm not, I'm not really going to do it anymore. Like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Like it just didn't like seem like a good opportunity. I was like, listen, I didn't really want to tell you, but like, yeah, it's a shitty job. But. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's why yeah. I took the L because I kind of said, I was like, ah, I didn't really want to tell you, but like, yeah, it's kind of a scam. Like she wanted to get into like network marketing. Oh, what the fuck is network? Network marketing is just a <laughs> fancy term for pyramid scheme. Yeah, yeah, hundred like, percent. And she's like, "Oh, I found that. Like, I kind of figured out that like it was kind of a pyramid scheme." I was like, "Yeah, I didn't really want to tell you, but like <laughs> network <laughs> marketing." But she was originally telling me the other day. I was like, "You know, what I, mean? I was like, oh, like that's good. yeah, like, yeah, yeah that, that's gonna be great." <laughs> <laughs> so like maybe I sound like kind of a cocksucker. Yeah. But anyways, I so I said, "Yeah, I think that's kind of shitty." I was like, "I was like, but if you want to do anything this weekend, I would love to see you again." No response. She mm. just she saw it. She didn't respond. But I don't know if she actually like listened to the messages either. Because she said when I sent those messages, she said she was going to get her nails done. Yes. So she might have just saw it really quick. And you and sent didn't have voice respond. memos. And I sent voice memos. And there's sometimes where you look at a, a voice memo on Instagram yes, and, and you then you just don't come back to it, right? And that's a bullshit part of it. Is it doesn't show when like like it's actually like kept or like, like red or, or red. But you know, I, I listen to. I, at the end of the day, I said what I had to say, and we haven't talked since. But I also haven't really posted many stories or whatever since, so I don't know if she's even like. I feel like you're right though. If she was interested after the date, unless she just has a busy life, I don't no, know. No, no. If she was interested, she would reach out. Yeah. If she, uh, serious, like that's the thing. What people don't realize is like we make excuses. Like yeah. you just can't. You just yeah. can't. I, you just got to like, this thing is I'm not, I'm not dumb. Like yeah. I understand like, okay, like you're not giving me that energy of like, I want to see you. Again. Yeah. If exactly. you wanted to see me, you'd exactly. fucking see me. hundred percent. If you wanted to reach out, they'd reach out. People yes. need to like get that in their head. Yes. They're like, yes. Oh, maybe they're busy. Like, no, no motherfucker. Like if someone wants to talk to you, they're they going to talk to you. They would. I think that that's a problem that a lot of people like probably go through too, is that they, they like keep it in their mind that, Oh, this guy might like one day exactly. like come back no. or this girl might like one day like me. No, fuck that if they like you they'll, they'll like make the they, they'll, they'll show you they yeah. like you yeah see that's the thing so it's like at this point now i just let it rock yeah like, and who knows maybe she'll hit me up down the line yeah or, or whatever again yeah. probably when i'm doing good and posting good yeah i'm sure she'll be back yeah i mean literally that's just the name of the game. i also saw a tweet today i didn't write it down but it was literally something about like people it was a tweet. It's like people only miss you when you're doing good or when exactly you know you're doing something dope and when they're doing bad Right. <laughs> All right. Um, do we have anything else or yes. you're good? What do you want? Do you, you want to go to the lightning round? Yeah, we could go to the lightning round. I'm down. We don't have to. No, we could go. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. We have to, we have to get we don't no know. changing. No changing. Were these on? Yeah, they're Cameras on. Cameras are on? Yeah. All right. Lightning round. Let's hope they're on, bro. Let's do it. Okay. Let's just get into the first. You know, sometimes we talk too much in, in, before the first question. Today, I'm not going to let it happen. What makes a woman a freak? And this is from Lynette. 
You go first. Okay. I have to think Thanks, about Jay. it. Um, here's my thing. I don't really know. I, to be honest, I, I don't, I, I really don't, I really don't know what, like, you know what I mean? Like some people's definition of freak is a lot different than another's. Here's mine. I'm very, I would like to say my sex is vanilla with, with, uh, rainbow sprinkles. Oh, of course. Sprinkles. Rainbow right. Sprinkles. Because, well, cause Cause my sex is vanilla, so but it, it has a little bit of, with shittiness. it's got a little bit of spice with, with nothing. It's got a little bit of sugar. And vanilla with rainbow it's sprinkles a of is vanilla plus vanilla. <laughs> That's what vanilla. I threw some more vanilla on the vanilla. <laughs> you thought the sex was vanilla? It's just a little bit more vanilla. It's than vanilla you more than yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I do, I okay, do, but I, what is a what is a freak? Then? So that that's what I was gonna say. To me, a freak is like a girl that is literally down for anything, but also not just literally down for anything. Because there's girls that say, "Oh, I'm down for anything." Because like, yeah, would I consider myself a freak? No. What, am I down to do anything? Yes. That's what I'm saying. I feel like a, a freak is somebody who wants to do anything. That, no, no, <laughs> that's that's, that's the difference. No, no, no. And I'm going to take it a step further. A freak is a girl that will, you know what I mean? No. Will like or can only get off to things that are like exotic or weird or yeah, a little bit farther than just, you know, some foreplay, some dick and ass, some ass eating. Like if there's regular like, shit, there's regular like, shit. Like somebody who wants to sh get shit on or right. shit right. on. Right, right. If there's like feces involved. Yes. If you need to get tied yes. up seven different ways before you could come. Sure. You are a freak to me. But if you're a regular person like me. <laughs> seven different ways. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like some, like I, I literally, I can't stand people that are just trying to do it just to do it though. I think there's a lot of girls Ooh, that just be like, yeah, I'm a fucking freak. Like that will just like try to like be this like, oh my god, like my sex is the best, like because I'm the craziest. I'm like, I don't need all. Of this. Yeah, like, yeah. You could have all that. Like, bring your whips and chains to some other weird freaky dude that wants to do the <laughs> shit with you for hours. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, I just want to like, I'm down to do crazy. I'm shit. sorry, I don't want to mistreat you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to beat you up, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need anything crazy. Like, you didn't need like, like tie me up and like beat me with like a I'm, battering uh, ram. I'm like, I, no. Like, can I, I just I'm, use I'm my a good person? Can I just lick your cooch? <laughs> like, can I just do that? Like, will that be good? Or <laughs> do you really need to do get really need to put skittles in there? What do you? <laughs> I need to do this every time. You know what I mean? Like, this is too much work, bro. Exactly. Like, I don't need that. Right. Like, this is a, a freak. Is a girl I don't even want to be with. You know, I really don't. I don't care. They want to be a freak in the bed, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's like they like I, I just don't want girls to think that like every dude's out there like I need a freak. Like, nah, I, I, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't need. I mean, I, I, I feel listen, like girls. Some girls want want a freak, though. That's that's what I'm saying is that if, if your vibe is like you can't get off or you only get off or enjoy getting off to like these exotic things happening all the time, your freak Congratulations. Find a freak. Gold star. Right. Find another person that wants to be that fucking wild and crazy. Yes, because there's definitely guys out there doing some weird shit. No, no, no. That I love it. I mean, no doubt. And Dude, I mean, I think BDSM is one of the top porn genres out right, there, bro. Right. That's what I'm saying. The, you, they're out there. And, and, and again, this isn't like... I want vanilla stuff. You know what I mean? It's not like me saying like, "Oh, no, my just shit vanilla is with sprinkles." Right, right. <laughs> like I'm gonna, I, you, I'm gonna do what I can, but I'm not gonna fucking. Unless we were dating for a really long time, I probably wouldn't want to get into all this other rambunctious. I'm never gonna say no See, to anything. Yeah, though. yeah. You don't want to like also the if the person you're with, you you don't want to like not do things that they like. That, right, that's the problem. Right. But I think that. Uh, a big thing about compatibility is sexual compatibility Absolutely. as well. And if you guys aren't on the same wavelength, if, if a girl does need all that stuff, obviously you guys aren't supposed to yeah. be together. I mean, like, unless again, here's the thing. I, I, I think that you could potentially build that chemistry. I, I don't think that sexual chemistry is also just something that is just there or not. I think, I, I, I think really it think is. You, I, I really don't. I, 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 I think that you could actually build towards it but i do think that there is a level yeah, or I think, an it factor that you guys need to have with each other i think you need to be in the realm correct that's a, correct. I, I i think yes, you can I build to that. it but like you need to be in the same realm like like same thought process yeah. like somewhat similar experience but maybe different yes maybe, yes yes again very open yes, to like yes. doing all that there's like like if like you said if you're really into like hardcore like getting yeah fucked up by a guy and getting mistreated or if you're a girl who likes to fuck up a guy and like 
put in their ass. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, like, and, like, yeah all this I'm crazy just, shit. I'm not going to be the guy for you. Right. And I, I don't think that, I think that's what it comes down to. I also, I also think freak comes down to maybe also volume or like the amount of sex that like, you that's need, another thing you need to like be satisfied. I, you know, there's some girls, I mean, we were talking to that one dating coach and, and she was like, yeah, like me and my husband, like we fuck, like there was one time we fucked for 24 hours straight and like he came like seven times. 24 hours? Yeah. I'm like, holy shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, like some people really they have like, that endurance. Are, that's bro. what I'm saying. Like some people are really about it like that. And they that's, I think another about it. part about sexual chemistry is like, like one of the girls I'm talking to, she she says like she just doesn't have a like large sex drive. Like that she's just some not, people just don't, right? And, and I think that like that that's something that you have to also find is like match up. And that's I yes, think it yes, all goes into yes. sexual chemistry. I think it sexual chemistry is something that's not talked about a lot because you just like expect you need chemistry in all other aspects when like and sexual chemistry no. will just come, no. but it, I don't think it does. And I think I I learned that recently when like. There was a girl that I had sex with where I didn't feel like I thought it was just gonna always come. I thought that yeah. like I would easily be able to have like sexual chemistry with like whoever, but no, like I didn't feel the same with that girl as I have like with, with other ones. Yes, right. Yes. No, it's very true. Like once you start like you're with multiple partners, there's definitely some that like the sex is way better. Yes, you know what I exactly. mean. Exactly. Again, you it should, like you said, it's a, it's a vibe thing, but when it comes to like again being a like a freak. Yes. I think it really just comes down to, right, like your sex drive. I think freaks have really, really high sex drives. Yes. They're they're really into any type of sexual activity. Like it doesn't Some matter if it's shit, like bro. it doesn't matter if it's like multiple partners. Yeah. There is no there's no barrier to it. And it's also what you crave. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? It's like it's gotta be something that like you almost need to enjoy the sex for you to really be, in my opinion, a freak. A freak. Yeah, no, I agree. So all right. Anyways, next question. Um, money over sex or sex over money? And this is Kayla. I don't like that name, but we're going to let it rock. I think that like you would, you would have to choose a sex over money. I, I would, I would, I would always have sex over, like if you had no money, but you could have sex still, I would choose that rather than having all the money in the world and not being able to have sex. Cause what's the point of money? Fuck money. Money's for sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's like imagine saying. being the richest man ever and not being able to have sex with any girls. That was my thing. I like, remember I had this story the other day. Fuck money, get bitches. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like I'm done. I don't it, give a it, fuck it, about money. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> if you could get bitches, I right. I this is kind of like chicken or the egg. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like which one really matters first? Yeah. Because most people are like, yo, money's better because then you could just have unlimited sex. But if you don't have, if you can't have sex, but, but what's funny is like if you have a lot of sex, it doesn't really mean that you'll be rich. No, it doesn't. But you, but you, when you do have a lot of money, it kind of means that you could potentially also have the sex. Wait, but is that the okay? Is she saying you think that like if money over sex? Is she saying that you can't have sex if you have money? No, 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 no. I was just saying that in general. Okay, okay. I was just saying like if you had to pick one, right, for life, like all right, would you rather like be more fortunate sexually or more oh, fortunate like monetarily? Probably, probably money. Because, of course, because, because money equals sex. But I like your, I like your uh, choosing which yes. or yes, because I, I think it's better when you look at this in like one particular situation. Yeah. Of course, everybody would probably prefer to be a millionaire over like fucking five girls, right? Yeah, because I feel like also well, in, five to a million well, is probably not an even shake. Yeah, I feel like also though, like if you have a lot of money and you only like have like little sex, that sex is probably very high value sex. <laughs> like, that is that isn't some bullshit ass sex, bro. Kevin Hart always says uh in his like stand up in his comedy, it's like you he's like you either have a lot of money or you get you have good dick. He's like, you can't have both. <laughs> He's like, if you're going to have this life, you're not going to have good dick. <laughs> he, he's telling his wife. <laughs> That's like, true. It's true, though. That's true. It's very true. You grind and you right. have all the money. You're grinding. Right. You're not, you're not fucking all the time. If yes. you're getting all that money and you know, all that fame and whatever, you're just using all of your time towards that. It's yes. not going towards meeting girls and fucking them. Yes. It's not. I'm not putting in that energy. Probably no. the, the guys who have the best sex are the poorest. 
They are. Because no, they have it's, to. It's 100 gay. That is a fact. If you ask <laughs> you ask any of the girls that work at like a nightclub who fucks better, the security guard or the guy that's buying the table, I'll tell you right now, they'll rather, like, the sex with the security guard is probably better. Okay. You know what I mean? That's Yeah, probably because he's an alpha, though, bro. I mean, I guess. I, I, he's a fucking thing, big ass out, dude going to fucking. Time out, time out. I, I don't like that misconception. Just because he's Jack doesn't mean he's good at sex. And honestly, I would I would even go the the extra mile and say if he is that jacked, he's probably not as good at sex because he doesn't have to be. No, or, I think it's because he's spending all his time in the gym. But dude, if you dude, the, I, there, so the potential there are, to get more partners is probably higher. But there's also like there are uh, workouts that you could do for sexual like performance. I've seen some guy the other day. <laughs> was, he, <laughs> was he doing hip thrusters? No, bro? so like I, the guys that do the hip thrusters freak me out. But <laughs> those are the guys that are fucking. I'm bro. telling you, though, there's some dudes though. Like, all right, there's one guy in my gym. He brings this, uh, this like neck thing, oh. and he what he does, he literally he he's like a little strap. It goes on the back of his head. And there's a chain that comes down and he puts a 45 like plate and he wraps the chain in it and he literally <laughs> just sits there and he whips his head up and he just works out the back of his neck by just moving his head up and the, and the plate up. Bro, he's probably trying to cure nerd neck. Is that what it is? I don't know or it is. he's doing a bunch of neck exercises. That- I always see him like wrestlers do it. Because they need to move their head. That's to like probably get out true of too. That's probably yeah. That's probably true too. Because you don't realize you have like muscles right in the back of your head. Well, neck. No, yeah, but like that that could help like with nerd neck, which is like if you're at a desk all day and your head is down, like that's. I was thinking, I was like, this guy's got to be the best at eating cooch. That's like he probably never gets he tired. probably could do that too. That's it, what I'm it, saying. He could be in any position uncomfortably and just sit there for hours. Because he's got the neck. That's true. I Maybe mean, we should go in there. But it's just weird when you're sitting on a bench and you're just like doing that shit with all people that are working out regularly. Like, dude. <laughs> yeah. So he's just the weights drop and you're just lifting it up. He lifts that shit heavy, his, bro. His hell head. He's got this whole fucking thing in your head. You're like, bro, you look fucking insane. Just like do this at home. <laughs> that is true. Why does he? Mean, why are you? Why oh, are you the weights. The, the weights. I guess you can't buy a 45 plate. I mean, are you gonna buy a forty-five plate, it's or not, just if you it, have a gym membership? I guess I, is that his only workout? I, it honestly seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> he does some other shit, but that's the main one every time. I'm like, I, he does every day. It, does he only have a big neck? Nothing yeah. else. He's just scrawny as fuck just with a huge, huge neck. neck. And we're like, yo, bro, that guy's neck is crazy. <laughs> All right, uh, last one. What's the weirdest thing you told a girl on a date and realized that it was weird? Fuck. Fuck. And this is from Brandon. I didn't think of anything. Okay, well, I so guess you can go. I guess I'll go cuz this so was, I got to try to listen. This so. is this is a hard because like I it, it's a hard it's every, question. It's every time. That's what I'm saying. And I just I usually forget about my embarrassing moments cuz like I don't usually like to like I, Re- I, 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 I don't. He's probably saying this based on the fact that he's like reliving, like, a, like, man, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah. Fuck, I shouldn't have went down that road. Like, usually for me, luckily, my brain just like keeps moving. So, like, when I do, I do embarrassing shit. I think yeah. that's another thing. I think I do embarrassing shit so much that it doesn't it, feel it, that I can't like relive embarrassing moments no. because it just always are there. It's just everything's it's too weird. much. Everything's weird. So it's like <laughs> that's a good thing about my life being weird, but. Uh, I would say that um, I'm trying to think. the one thing that I did that was kind of fucked up that like I like, probably regret this is that like this girl, I don't know what she was trying to be cocky to me. And she was just like, I don't know, something weird. I don't know how it got brought up, but we were yeah. talking about like being exclusive or not being exclusive with her. And like, I was just being honest. I was like, look, I'm like dating around like I'm dating other girls. And she's like. If she just like made the comment like, oh yeah, like nobody's like as cool as or as smart as me that you're dating and all this. And oh, I, shit. I just needed to bring her back down to earth. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Sometimes like. you gotta let her know. I was like, well, like <laughs> one of the girls I'm dating, like she's going to med school. Like <laughs> <laughs> she's pretty she's smart. Like, I don't know. Like, like she's honestly pretty smart. She sounds smart. And to so me. like at the time I thought it was just like a throwaway. Like I, I didn't yeah, I wasn't yeah, trying yeah. to be like whatever. And then like a week later she comes back, she's like, you know that I like, love how that's the best. Like it always like the band-aid rips open like a like a week yeah. later like she's, a scar. Like, she's like just so you know that like really negatively like hurt me and like <laughs> i've been thinking about it ever since and i was like oh i'm sorry like i like to me i don't even remember saying that and then uh, and then to her it, like destroyed her yeah and i was like i'm sorry i'm sorry that was mean yeah 
Um, and that was like the first date with her, which was really yeah. rough. It was, it was really rough. I feel like the weirdest shit. I don't know. Like, like you said too. Like, I don't. I don't feel like bad. That's not, <laughs> like, I don't. I don't really like I don't, remember. I don't, I don't, right. I don't think it's like right. It, it's very difficult for this question in the sense of like, unless it happened like in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. How the fuck would I ever remember like a little thing that I like might have said to someone that was like? And also, I think that we're pretty confident in the situation so even if we do say something weird yeah, like i don't really care i don't give a fuck like i i don't think of it as like oh shit yeah. i said some sh awkward shit even if they probably took it wrong yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, care, yeah, yeah. Bro. I, that's what i'm saying like i i feel like i might like there's always times like my mouth gets me in trouble though 100 definitely like um like you just it's just the way I say things to people sometimes I yes, don't realize. That's the thing. You know what I mean? Like I I'd literally be like, like, oh yeah, the last girl I was with, yeah, she wasn't able to say no. Or like <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm like on a date, like say that to someone. <laughs> it's like, oh <laughs> I'm like, oh no, 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 not like that. Like I just I don't think that she would. <laughs> Not that I don't I don't care about yeah, consent. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like, I, I like back it up. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, bro. That's what I'm saying. I, well, you, one thing I think we just missed. Let's add a fourth question. We missed this completely. In the meat? Yeah. I know. That's why I paused when you said so you So you didn't fucking. Well, I, I thought said, it was. I, I thought I said to you. I was like, do we have anything else? Well, I, said, no. I thought we're we were. Good. I thought we would talk about it like uh, next next time or something. That's why I didn't say it. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, oh, maybe well, he wants to move on. We're already an hour and 40 minutes in. Did we just go? for the last one i feel like this is a deep one fuck it let's do it we have okay, 20 minutes let's do it i'm down for a 22 hour pod. i'm down all right anyways. all right last question four four lightning round questions how do you bring up where is this going and you know i feel like it's a difficult thing and we were talking about there's a misconception of like girls have about having like an exclusive phase which i think is a part two let's originally talk on like so you just want to answer the first question yes. and then yes. not focus on this part yeah we'll talk about the exclusive phase in a second okay oh okay 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 i'm down to just sit here i'm down just... to do it i'm down to do it okay okay so the first part is like when is the when appropriate, is appropriate time to do time to ask i would say that whenever you feel like you want to like who yeah. gives a fuck like if you're at a point where you feel like you want to like know where this relationship is ask the fucking question sure like I, it, I, I, I understand that it could ruin something, but if it ruins something, that means that you're at a place where that guy is not. And that means that, that like, is. like if, if he's not there... Knowledge. If, he, if he's not there, like, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, just yeah, going to yeah. be that way. Yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty true on, like, you know, uh, like what you're saying, which is pretty much is if you pop that question and they're, like, startled or it ruins it, that means they probably weren't down in the first yeah. place. But I will say this. You could really scare somebody away... I, I mean, I'm, not I, on the I, first I, date. Well, I mean, he, that, that's, that's crazy. That's what I was going to say. Like, how, so, okay, the question is, how do you bring it up? But even just from a, a timing standpoint, like, definitely don't do it too early. Like, I yeah. think you sometimes, like, girls don't realize, like, let the situation marinate yeah. for at least a couple months. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, one yeah. or two months. And you think it's a long time. It's like eight weeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. Like, just let shit rock for at least, you know what I mean? That You don't even know the person. I think Don't ask what it, we are after... I knew you for seven weeks. But I also I also don't think that I think that it matters about like how much you hang out. Like, I agree. If you're hanging out with them for four weeks, but you're hanging out like every single day. Yeah. For for four weeks, every single fucking day, here's, that's a lot. Here's the thing though. Again, I agree. Here but we'll, we're gonna talk about this because that's this misconception of exclusive. Yes. If you're hanging out that much, we get this idea in our mind that it just means you're exclusive even if you haven't had the conversation. Yes, yes. I don't think you're exclusive until you have the conversation. Yeah. Do I think that there is some gray area where like if you're talking to somebody else and you've been sleeping over at my house for, you know, three, four straight weeks, I'd probably be like, all right, like what the fuck are you doing? Yes, okay, yes, It would be yes. a conversation. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I think it's really difficult to really bring it up. The thing is, if it doesn't really like have that energy, it doesn't like come up naturally, I feel like that's kind of weird. Does that that makes no sense? that that's what I'm saying. I I feel like if there's you know, already a problem if you're feeling that you have to like ask this question. Weird. Right, exactly. There's already exactly. an issue. That means that like he's not he's not giving it to you. Correct. And, or, you're, and you're questioning yeah. it. Yes, exactly. You're questioning. You're saying. I mean, some people just definitely overthink. Like, all right, like what like what happened? Like, don't overthink it. But the reality is, is like you guys should have the the dating energy. Yes, like, like it that's what it comes down mutual. to, right? It, like I was I was helping this one girl out um, 
with her little guy that she met and you know like they were having a really good time they hung out they were doing the whole thing she made him wait a little while they finally had sex after like three four weeks it seemed normal he yeah. was all up in her grill happy but he just he never took it to the next level he mm-hmm. never like really like hung out with her a lot like he didn't like make the effort to see mm-hmm. her constantly he it just didn't again it just didn't have that dating energy yeah and if you're feeling that way if you're feeling like oh how do i bring this up to you you're right like yeah he, it's probably looking like it's not, so yes. you're questioning why it's not. Yes, yes. You know what I, mean? I will say, though, that there are probably guys out there that, like, don't know what they're fucking doing. Oh, and, facts. like, they might not. They might be oblivious. They yeah. might, like, think that it's all good. Like, they might want to date you, and, like, they just don't know when to ask the question themselves and stuff like that. We, yes, we, we're looking yes at no. it. We're, we overthink it, too. But, yeah, we're looking at it, like, also from, like, uh, our perspective when we like i guess like we understand like how to do it yeah. but like there are guys out there that are fucking idiots who like See, might want to date someone i don't want to i don't want to give them that excuse i, I don't want to give know. people that excuse i know you know what i mean you, i, I don't want to i don't want to sit here and say oh man you had to bring it up and like he's like oh shit maybe we should date you know what that, i mean like but you should, but that's you shouldn't have that realization I, I know but i feel like there are some guys out there that are like that like that that, that have no I, experience that like all right, that's different if you haven't dated anybody but that's my that's my point is okay. that there are guys out there that are like getting into the game and like <laughs> maybe just like yeah, late yeah. bloomers coming in and they don't even know they like really how know. to do it well then you already got bigger issues if they don't know how to ask you out then then that's a different problem I think most of these guys know how to ask. No, I don't think so. There's a lot of dudes. That's what I'm saying. Like some of these girls like date guys that are like, like I was just uh, talking to a girl who, who went on a date with this guy who like, barely could talk and yeah. he was like man nerves. And well, then he texts her after the, he texts her after the date. I wish that like, I could have like hung out with you longer. Like literally, Aww, that's literally cute. five minutes after, see, and that's, asking that's her to hang energy. out more. He asked, that's, that's energy, though. I guess that's you. You right. know what I mean? You're like right. that's that energy of like cute, shy, like obviously cares. Like if some dude like texts you after, like, "Hey, I wanted to hang out longer." You know, you're having that good dating energy. Yes, that's true. You know true. what I mean? That's like, true. With a guy that's like shy and weird like that, like I feel like I'd be in like the driver's seat. If no, I was but that, chick. but that's what I'm saying. The girl might need to be in the driver's seat in that situation oh, and, sure. and and pull that yeah, question yeah, 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 yeah. and start like that conversation. Oh, no, no, no. I I told her, yes. I there if there's like a guy that's like in that zone yes. or like you you could tell that he's just like shy, nervous, not giving you. I again, it just comes down to that energy though. Like that guy is obviously into you. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, like he's yes. obviously that you wouldn't feel weird maybe about bringing it up. That's probably true. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think it's a really tough thing to bring up because the reality is, is like, I, I, here's the thing. I actually think guys will just ride the boat until it dies. And I feel like that's what that, like yeah. guys do. Like, I feel like as a dude, if I meet a chick and I'm into her and she gives me sex, but I don't really know how crazy I'm about her. I just, we just ride, ride it, it out, out until until she until forces she you. until forces you right and until that, she pops the question of how where's this going and, and she's like well I didn't even think about it and that's <laughs> that's why I say if you're there yes. fucking say it. say it right because because at that point you, you like then you want to be wasting any time I, because I that totally guy agree. is waiting it out. Mm-hmm. And then once you do that, then it's all on table of, and you can fucking drop it and move on. Yeah. A lot of girls don't realize that is like most dudes. They're just, what they do is we're just going to sit there. We're going to ride it out and we're just going to enjoy it for what it's worth. We're just going to suck the berry of its juice and we're going to move on. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's not an on purpose thing. It's just, you know, that's how guys operate. It's like, if you, again, we have the, we have the energy, especially if you've given up sex at that point too. If, mm-hmm. we, if we, if you have had a lot of sex and yes. you've been talking for like months yeah, and he hasn't really made the effort to like move it to the next level, he's comfortable yeah. where, where it's at. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, You know, do you want to go into exclusive phase or do you want to hold it? Uh, I think we should hold it. Okay. I, I feel okay. like we have such, there's such a long podcast. Okay. 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 Well, thanks for listening. I know it's been a while. You know what I mean? Two weeks is a long time. Yeah. I mean, well, technically only one week. All right. We did it. We did a live. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Last week was the only week we didn't release a podcast. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, right. It's two weeks for us. Though. Yes. Yes. It's like two yes. weeks since we've talked. Exactly. Exactly. Anyways, all right. Thanks for listening. Right, thank Appreciate you. you. All right. Well, there you go. are we going to release this Tuesday? 
Oh shit, I don't know. So it might be two weeks. It might be two weeks. It's whatever we want to do. <laughs> I'm down to do whatever. <laughs>